One. Stages of life. Word storm. Birth. Bring up. Childhood. Career. Puberty. Single. Turning point. The lowest point. Marriage. In his twenties. In her twenties. Quite elderly. Old and gray. Adolescence. Self-employed. Dialogue one. You know, Iden, I don't know much about you. Where were you born? I was born in London, but I spent most of my childhood in Hong Kong. What was your childhood like? I had a pretty strict upbringing, and my parents and I were always fighting about it. Do you get along with your parents now? Oh, sure. Once they reached middle age, they became a lot less uptight. Where did you go to university? My parents wanted me to stay in Hong Kong, but I decided to go back to England. I graduated from Oxford University with a degree in English literature. What's your current occupation? I'm a freelance writer. I write magazine articles and fiction books. Did you always know you wanted to be a writer? No, I didn't. I was an English teacher for about five years, but by the time I was thirty, I decided I wanted a fresh challenge. How did you start writing? I started writing magazine articles for fun, and eventually was asked to write a book. So I was pretty lucky. Are you writing a book now? Yes, it's about a group of friends living in a foreign country and all the strange experiences they have. Sounds interesting. Dialogue two. What was the biggest turning point in your life? I guess I would say that would be moving out of my parents' house for the first time. Really? Why is that? After I moved out of my parents' home, I became a lot more independent. What would you say was the lowest point in your life? That would definitely be getting a divorce. What went wrong? We just weren't right for each other. How long were you married? The marriage only lasted about a year. Have you remarried since then? Yes, I got married to a man that I met shortly after I divorced my first husband. Do you think you'll ever get a divorce again? Oh, I hope not. My first marriage was a mistake, but this one isn't. How long have you been married? About fifteen years now. Do you think you'll still love him when he's old and gray? I think so. Hopefully, we'll have a long and happy life together. I'm sure you will. Two. First impressions. Word storm. Height and build. Tall and slim. Short and fat. Stout. Skinny. Plump. Medium height and build. Fat. Overweight. Appearance. Nice. Elegant. Gorgeous. Handsome. Good looking. Pretty. Ugly. Plain. Beautiful. Hair. Straight. Wavy. Curly. Brown. Dyed hair. Fair hair. Blonde. Bald. Balding. 
parted in the middle. Ponytail. Long plates. Short plates. Noticeable features. Freckle. Pierced ear. Tattoo. Angular. Scar. Beard. Wearing glasses. Contact lenses. Birthmark. Bad skin. Deep voice. Lovely complexion. Mustache. Dialogue 1. Jacob, are you interested in helping me out and going on a blind date with a friend of mine? That depends. What does she look like? Well, she's got a beautiful face and long, curly red hair. How tall is she? She's fairly tall. Maybe two inches taller than me. Is she chubby? Not at all. She's actually very athletic. Sounds like she's pretty good looking. Does she wear glasses? No, but she does wear contact lenses. How's her skin? She's got a gorgeous complexion with a few freckles on her nose. Does she have any piercings or tattoos? I think she has her ears pierced. And she definitely has a few tattoos. One on her lower back, one on her neck, and one on her left foot. What's the tattoo on her foot like? It's a butterfly. Everyone in her family has one. Even her mom? Yes, even her mom. What's her personality like? Mm, she's a lot like me. So there is something wrong with her. It was beginning to sound like she was too good to be true. Dialogue 2 did you see the picture of the guy on the front page of the newspaper this morning? No, I haven't had a chance to read the paper yet. You've got to see it. It's an unbelievable picture. What's so interesting about it? Well, this guy fell asleep on the sofa, and when he woke up, half his face had been bitten off. What? How did that happen? They think his dog was trying to wake him up and couldn't, so he ended up biting him in his face. Wow. What does his face look like now? It looks pretty frightening. He doesn't have any lips, so all you can see are his gums and teeth. Most of his nose and chin are missing, too. What did he look like before his dog bit his face off? He was actually quite handsome. What a shame. What's he going to do now? It is said he's hoping to get a face transplant. But until then, he's looking forward to Halloween. So he isn't the only one wearing a mask. Three, getting personal. Word storm. Amusing, cheerful, conservative, narrow-minded, sensitive, stubborn, relaxed and easygoing, aggressive, arrogant, coward, liar, moody, nosy. Selfish, vain, horrible, mean, nasty, fussy, a bit dull, gossip, a bit workaholic, optimistic, pessimistic, cold and unfriendly, generous. Dialogue 1 Are you all right, Ethan? You don't seem to be as cheerful as you normally are. To be honest, Ava, 
I've just had a really bad day. What happened? First, I slept through my alarm and ended up two hours late to work. What did your boss say? He told me that if I showed up late one more time, he'd fire me. He's so mean. Oh, that's horrible. Was that the first time you'd shown up late to work? That was my second time. The first time I was in a car accident. Is your boss Chinese? No, he's, he's from Australia. Before I met him, I thought Australians were supposed to be relaxed and easygoing. I had no idea he'd be so fussy about things. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to look for another job. I need to find a boss that is a bit more sensitive and optimistic than my current boss. That sounds like a sensible plan. Do you want me to help you with your job search? That's very generous of you. Thanks for the offer. Don't mention it. That's what friends are for. Dialogue 2 I don't know what to do about the people who live in the flat above me. Why? What are they like? They're incredibly selfish. They're always up until the wee hours of the night playing their music so loudly that I have to wear earplugs in order to fall asleep. Have you ever talked to them about it? I tried to introduce myself to them when they moved in, but they were so arrogant that I didn't want to ever talk to them again. What did they say? They both just talk about how great they are all the time. They sound like the neighbors from hell. They are. Besides being loud and arrogant, they're also terrible gossips. They're always talking about everybody else in the apartment. I thought you didn't talk to them much. I don't, but they talk so loudly that I can hear what they're talking about from my bedroom, and it's not very nice. What do the other people in your apartment think about them? Most of my other neighbors are scared of them. Maybe you should think about moving. I can't afford to move right now. Well, perhaps you should have a party and try to get to know them better. Maybe once you get to know them, they'll turn out to be more sensitive. I think you're being a bit optimistic. If you met them, you'd understand. Well, I don't know what else you could do then. Do you think bribing them with chocolate would work? Four. Every part of your body can speak. Word storm. Ankle. Armpit. Back. Bottom. Chest. Elbow. Knee. Palm. Shoulder, stomach, waist, wrist, frown, grin, gum, scalp, suck, wink, wrinkle, yawn, kneel, lean, trip over. Look, sound, smell, taste. Dialogue 1 I don't know about you, but I'm famished. Are you interested in getting a bite to eat? That sounds great. I'm absolutely starving. What kind of food are you in the mood for? I'd love something spicy. Maybe we could get some Sichuan hot pot. You're a woman after my own heart. I don't know many people who can handle spicy food. Are you sure you're up for hot pot? Sure. If I could, I would eat hot pot every day. Okay, you're really all eyes when it comes to talking about food, aren't you? Well, let's stop dragging our feet and find a Sichuan hot pot restaurant for dinner. Let me think about it for a minute. Let's see... 
Oh, the name of the restaurant is on the tip of my tongue. Give me a second, and it'll come to me. Well, have you thought of it yet? No. Never mind. There's an authentic tasting hot pot restaurant not far from the China World Trade Towers on Chang'an Street. Have you been there? That's it. That's the one I was thinking of. I told you I'd remember it. <laughs> you really have a big head, don't you? Dialogue two. So, Emily, how was your day? I don't think you really want to hear about it. It can't have been that bad. Go on and tell me about it. To be honest, it was horrible. My manager is such a pain in the neck. Why? What happened? Well, he made quite a few mistakes on the monthly report, and when his supervisor found them, my manager blamed them on me. That's not very fair. What did you do? There wasn't really anything that I could do. There's always been a lot of bad blood between my manager and myself. If I had said anything, he would have fired me for sure. Does he treat everyone in your department like this? He treats everyone pretty poorly, but the way he treats me really takes the cake. Do you have any idea why he treats you worse than the others? I really have no idea. All I know is that the thought of him really curls my hair. Is there anyone else you can talk to about it at your company? Not really. I'm hoping to live with it for a while until I get a promotion. That's very sensible. It sounds like you have a good head on your shoulders. I try to be sensible about it, but it's not very easy. Sometimes you just have to grin and bear it. That's so true. When you have a taste for success, you can't let dishonest people like your manager get in the way. Five. Mind your posture. Words storm. Bow. Climb. Hug. Crawl. Dive. Drag. Kneel. Lean. Lift. Pull. Push. Posture. Handshake. Eye. Space. Smile. Fold arms. Bite one's nails. Nod. Dialogue one. Matthew, do you know much about body language in countries around the world? Sure, I've picked up a few things from traveling around for work. Why? Well, I had a meeting today with a woman from Japan, and she wouldn't stop bowing. I didn't know what to do. Did you bow back? No, I tried to shake her hand, but her hand was so limp I was a bit offended. Well, Japanese businessmen and women. Typically, bow to greet each other in Japan. She might have been offended by her strong handshake. But she was in America. Shouldn't she have known that strong handshakes in America signify confidence and respect? Things are different in Japan. You know, in some countries, making eye contact with others is considered rude. Is that why she wouldn't look at me in the meeting? I think it's highly possible. Yes. The meeting really didn't go down well at all. I think I need to read up about intercultural communication before I have another meeting with someone from another country. That's a good idea. When you don't know much about other cultures, the simplest thing can offend someone. That's so true. It's great that we see eye to eye on this. Dialogue two. 
Well, what did you think about the last candidate? Do you think we should hire her? She had a very impressive resume, but she seemed to lack the confidence that I think a good manager needs. What made you think she wasn't very confident? Did you notice the way she avoided making eye contact with us while she talked? She was a bit nervous, I guess. What else? When she first walked into the room to greet us, she didn't shake our hands or introduce herself at all. I thought that was a bit unprofessional. You're right. If she walked into meetings with our clients like that, it would make our company look bad, wouldn't it? It sure would. Did you also notice the way she slouched in her chair during most of the interview? She had horrible posture. I agree. I guess I was paying more attention to her answers than her body language. On top of that, she didn't seem to have any sense about people's personal space. She didn't keep enough distance between us when during the meeting. That's true. I guess we'll have to keep looking for a manager then. Don't worry. We'll find someone eventually. Six. Blood is thicker than water. Word storm. Surname. Family name. First name. Nuclear family. Immediate family. Kinship. Stock. Of noble birth, of humble birth, ancestor, progeny, inherit, blood relationship, kinsman by blood, family tree, identical twin, legitimate child, illegitimate child. Single child policy. Bastard. Brotherhood. Half brother. Half sister. Descendant. Dialogue one. How many people are there in your family? My immediate family is quite small. It's just my older stepbrother, my mom, my stepdad, and me. How about you? I have a large family. I have three older sisters, my twin sister, a younger brother, and my parents. I didn't know you were a twin. Are you identical or fraternal? We're identical. I mean, we look exactly the same, but we are complete opposites when it comes to everything else. Interesting. It must be great having a twin sister. Are you best friends too? We used to be really close, but all that changed once she moved to Shanghai. How about your family? You didn't mention to your biological father. I don't know much about him. He died when I was just a baby. Even though I don't have a blood relationship with my stepfather and stepbrother, I consider them to be my real family. What about your stepbrother's mother? Does he keep in touch with her? No, she also died when my stepbrother was little. My mother and my stepfather met each other shortly after my father died and became good friends. They ended up getting married a few years later. Sounds like it was meant to be. Dialogue two. Have you ever thought about having children, Caitlin? My husband and I have thought about it, but we've decided not to have any. They're just too expensive. Besides, with all the news about global warming on the news lately, who knows what kind of world we'll have in the future? What about you? Well, I've always wanted to have lots of children. Growing up with only one brother, I always felt a bit lonely. What do you think about families with only one child? For me, growing up in a big family always made me yearn for attention. I always wanted to be an only child, so that I could always do what I wanted, and so that I wouldn't ever have to share.
Don't you think you would miss having other people around? No way. I spent 20 years of my life with relatives around me 24 7. You know, I don't think I've ever actually spent any time by myself in my parents' home. What do you think of the one child policy in China? China didn't have such a policy. Can you imagine how many people there would be in China now? That's true. But as a woman, I'm glad that even though I don't want any children, I at least have a choice in how many children I have. On the other hand, I can't imagine what China would be like if there weren't a one-child policy. Do you think most families with children envy or feel sorry for other families with only one child? I don't know what other people think, but I, for one, envy only children. Seven. Huge family. Word storm. Relation. Relative. Kinsman by affinity. Extended family. Step. X. Adopt. Take after. Reunion. Get together. Family tree. Mother in law. Niece. Patriarch. Head of the household. Foster parents. Financially independent. Support a family. Retirement home. Black sheep of the family. Cousin. Nephew. Dialogue 1. Does your family have a record of your ancestors? Sure. My mom has been working on our family tree for years. She's always updating it. Do you have a copy of your family tree in your house? I'd love to see it. I can show it to you now if you'd like. I think it goes back about eight generations so far. That's amazing. Do you have a large extended family? I've got 30 cousins on my mom's side and 10 cousins on my dad's side. Are you very close to your first cousins? The ones that are my age are close relatives. Now that I'm older, I don't spend as much time with them as I used to. So I don't know my younger cousins as well as the older ones. I see. Who's the head of your household? It's definitely my mother. And her mother is definitely the matriarch of the bigger family. That's interesting. What does your grandmother think of your stepmother? At first she was quite critical of her. But now that they've been married for a few years, she's starting to accept the fact that my father divorced my mother. That's pretty much how you feel about your stepmother. Like grandmother, like grandson. Dialogue 2. Do you think Chinese families have changed much in the last 50 years? I think families everywhere have changed a lot in the last five decades. What do you think is the biggest change? Well, in the past, three or four generations would all live together under the same roof. Nowadays, living in the same city as one's relatives is becoming rare. That's true. You know, some husbands and wives don't even live in the same city anymore. Would you consider having your parents live with you when they get older? I guess I'm a bit old-fashioned. I'd rather have my parents live with me than live in a retirement home. That's very respectable. But I could never live with my parents. I usually only see them at our Christmas celebration, and that's enough. How about your other siblings? Do they spend a lot of time with your parents? Two of my sisters still live at home, even though they have already graduated from university and have good jobs. They enjoy spending their free time with my parents. I guess in that respect, I'm the black sheep of the family. I see. Do your parents ever ask you to come home to visit them more often? They're always asking me to come home. 
but I think our relationship is better if we keep a distance from each other. Whenever we see each other, all we do is fight. Well, you know what they say: you can choose your friends, but not your family. Eight. Looking for love. Word storm. Adore. Admire. Flirt. Fancy. Fall in love. Casual. Date. Ms. Wright. Prince Charming. Head over heels. Hand in hand. Have an affair. Puppy love. Platonic. Live together. Row. Split up. Break up. Stand somebody up. Blind date. Love triangle. Fickle lover. Relationship. Dialogue one. How is everything going with your girlfriend? Didn't I tell you? It's over. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I didn't know that you had split up. What happened? It was a few things. The first thing that happened was that we were supposed to go out for a romantic dinner for our one-year anniversary, but she stood me up. Really? Did she tell you why she didn't show up? No, but I ended up finding out later that night when I saw her with another man at a club near my home. What was she thinking? Did you confront her about it when you saw her? I wanted to, but I knew that if I spoke to her, I'd just blow up at her. So I decided just to go home. I called her later that night, but she didn't answer the phone. I can't believe she would do that to you. It's so dishonest and rude. I know. I still haven't heard from her. The good thing is that I'm so angry with her that I don't feel sad about not having her around. I bet you she regrets what she's done. You were such a good catch. She really lost out, didn't she? I guess so. It would be nice to know why she did this, though. I know. It's always nice to have some closure. But I don't think you'll have a problem finding another girlfriend. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Dialogue two. How was your holiday to Cyprus? It was so fantastic. I didn't really want to come home. Did you happen to meet someone? How did you know? You always act like this when you've fallen in love. Who is he? How did you meet? His name is Tony, and we met my first night in Pathos. He works with my sister who lives there. Was it love at first sight? Not really. I wasn't looking for holiday romance, but my sister told me that she had promised him that she'd set him up on a blind date with me. I didn't think I'd have anything to lose, so I went. And? Let's just say that by the third date. We both realized that we had fallen in love. That happened quickly. Are you going to see him again? Luckily, his company has a position available here, so he's going to see if he can get relocated. It sounds like he is madly in love with you. Are you ready for such a serious relationship? Well, I'm not really a spring chicken anymore. We don't know what will happen, so we'll just have to wait and see. Nine. Marry a soulmate. Word storm. Registry office. Church wedding. Bride. 
Groom. Bridesmaid. Best man. Fiance. Fiance. Clergyman. Get engaged. Propose to. Wedding list. Golden wedding. Silver wedding. Wedding ceremony. Newlywed. Honeymoon. Eternal. Vow. Henpecked. One's better half. Wedding march. Wedding banquet. Bouquet. Tuxedo. Wedding dress. Separate. Divorce. Anniversary. Extravagant. Dialogue 1 Have you heard the big news? What big news? Olivia and Nicholas are engaged. He proposed to her last night at a fancy restaurant. I didn't even know they were dating. After Nicholas's ex-girlfriend cheated on him, they realized that they had a great friendship and that maybe they were meant to be with each other. They really are perfect for each other. I can't think of a better matched couple than them. I heard that they're planning to have an extravagant wedding ceremony in a church with a reception in an expensive restaurant on the lake. Have they asked anyone to be in the wedding party yet? I think Nicholas asked Jack to be his best man, and Olivia asked Caitlin to be her maid of honour. They both have big families, so their siblings will be the bridesmaids and groomsmen. It sounds like they've done a lot of planning in a very short time. Have they decided where they are going for their honeymoon? I haven't heard where they will go yet, but I bet you they will go to a beach somewhere. You know they both love surfing. You know, most people find it difficult to find their soulmate, but they've made it seem extremely easy. Dialogue 2 what was your wedding ceremony like, Abigail? My husband and I got married in a registry office, with just two friends there as a witness. But then we had three parties to celebrate. Three parties? That's quite a lot. That must have been expensive. Well, since my husband and I are from two different countries, and we live in a third country, we decided to have one in each country. It wasn't actually that expensive. Were your parents upset that they weren't there to see you get married? I would have liked them to be there, but they couldn't afford to fly out to see us, and we couldn't afford to fly out to see them, so they understood. Did your husband's family get to meet your family? My husband's parents flew out to meet my family when we got married in my hometown, so that was great. Some people spend ridiculous amounts of money on extravagant wedding receptions. But we agreed that the wedding party should be less about money and more about family. That makes sense. Did you go on a honeymoon? We waited until our one-year anniversary to go on our honeymoon to Africa. You really didn't have a very traditional wedding, did you? Not at all. But we don't have a very traditional marriage either, so it suited us perfectly. Ten. Getting along. Word storm. Acquaintance. Buddy. Close friend. Drift apart. Lifelong. Mate. Pal. Maturity. Sincerity, loyalty, partner, pen friend, roommate, workmate, colleague, get to know, get on well with, company, 
Hang out. Row. Hold a grudge. Fall out. Dialogue 1. How are you doing, Andrew? Not well. I've been feeling pretty lonely lately. But you have so many friends. How could you be lonely? You know what they say. A friend to all is a friend to none. I don't feel like I really know any of my friends. In fact, I should probably call them acquaintances, not friends. What about me? I'm your friend. I know you are, but you're my girlfriend. I wish I had a guy friend to hang out with sometimes. Oh, I know what you mean. I find it difficult to make new friends too. It's not as easy as it was when we were young, is it? Not at all. I've made a lot of new friends since I started learning English. Maybe you could join a club or take a class to make some new friends. That's a good idea. What kind of qualities do you look for in a friend? I'm not sure. I guess I'd like to meet some people who have a positive attitude and want to have a good time. People who play Ultimate Frisbee have a positive attitude. Maybe you should join the Ultimate Frisbee Club. That's a possibility. Thanks. Dialogue 2 You haven't spent much time with Sophia lately. Are you speaking to each other at the moment? No, we're not. We've been drifting apart for a while. But you two used to do everything together. I thought you really enjoyed each other's company. We did. But since she started her new job, all she does is hang out with her new friends from work. Can't you hang out with them too? I could, but all they ever talk about is work, so I always end up feeling left out. Maybe you should invite her over for dinner, so it's just the two of you. I tried that a few weeks ago, and she ended up bringing a pal from work with her. She's so busy these days that it's just impossible to hang out with her. It can't be that bad. She was always a really good friend to you. You're right. She would never talk about me behind my back or hold a grudge. But she just doesn't seem very interested in our friendship anymore. She's probably just excited about her new job. You should give her some time. It would be a shame to lose such a good friend. I've given it enough time. I'm over it now. I still think you two should try to patch things up. I think I just have to accept the fact that it's time for us to go our separate ways. Eleven. Renting a house. Word storm. Furnished. Unfurnished. Homestay. On. Campus. Off. Campus. Dormitory. Detached house. Block of flats. Studio flat. Bungalow. Surrounding. Single room. Double room. Facility. Bathroom. Shower. Kitchen. Air conditioned. Heater. Radiator. Central heating. Contract. Deposit. Amendment. Landlord. Landlady. Tenant. Agency. Lease. Let. Pay monthly. Renew. Leak. Share. Balcony. Basement. Ground floor. Fitting. Suite. Furnish. Fit up. In suite bathroom. Pets not allowed. 
Apartment. Preference. How's your house hunting going? Not very well. I haven't found anything within my price range yet. How much are you looking to spend? I can only afford about three hundred pounds a month. Looks like you're not going to get more than a bedroom in a shared flat with that. Really? That's a lot of money to pay for one room. Well, if you want to live in London, you have to pay the price. Hmm. Do you know of anyone who needs a roommate? I can ask around at work. Do you have a preference for smokers or non-smokers? I'd prefer non-smoking roommates, but I guess I'll have to take what I can get. How long do you want to sign a contract for? I can sign a contract for up to a year. I don't know where I'll be after that. Do you need a furnished or unfurnished apartment? I don't have any furniture, so it'd be great if it were furnished. You know that you'll have to pay utilities on top of the rent, right? No, I thought that would be included in the rent. It's not usually included, so you'll have to factor in about one hundred pounds more each month for the utilities. I don't think I can afford that. Don't worry. Sometimes people will give you a discount if you promise to do the cleaning or take care of the children. That's a good idea. I'll look into finding something like that. Dialogue two. What's your apartment like? It's a furnished two-bedroom flat in a three-story building on campus. What is it like living in on-campus housing? It's not as bad as I thought it would be. The freshmen that live nearby are all really loud, especially on the weekends. But the rent is much cheaper than private housing, so it's worth it. Did you have to pay a deposit? No, but we do have to pay nine months' rent in six months. So for the first six months, we pay one and a half months' rent each month. Do you have to pay utilities on top of your monthly rent? No, it's all included. Besides, students don't have to pay council tax, so we're saving quite a bit of money by living here. How long is your contract for? That's the bad thing. The contract ends in June, so we'll have to find a new apartment soon. Have you started looking yet? Not yet. I'm hoping we'll be able to find something cheap once all the students leave the city for the summer. Good luck. Twelve. Living in a house. Word storm. Fence. Hedge. Villa. Courtyard house. Garage. Front doorbell. Lawn. Rockery. Chimney. Lounge, ceiling, fireplace, yard, shed, drive, fitting, step, installment, down payment, real estate, mortgage, interest, mortgage loan. Decoration. Internet access. Satellite TV. Dialogue one. Have you moved into your new house yet, Michael? We just moved in yesterday, actually. So, what do you think about the place? Are you glad that you moved in? It's great. Unfortunately, we're going to spend the fortune doing everything up. How old is the house then? It's about two hundred years old. It has a lot of history. Sounds fascinating. Where is that your new house located? It's just off of the ring road. Do you have a big yard? It's bigger than our last one. I've got flowers in the front and fruits, vegetables, and a fish pond in the back. Is your house well lit? Oh yes. 
Our windows let plenty of natural light in. They've also got wonderful views of the park behind our house. How many rooms does your house have? Right now, there are three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchen, a sitting room, a dining room, and a living room. We are hoping to add on a green room and a guest bedroom. In fact, when the guest bedroom is ready, you should come and stay with us for a weekend. I'd be up for that. Dialogue 2 Have you thought of moving at all, Sarah? We've thought about it, but my husband and I can't afford it right now. The only thing we could afford would be living in the slums, which is something I don't want to do. Buying a house can be expensive, but there are ways to find cheaper houses. Like what? Well, sometimes the city auctions off houses to the community. You'd have to make a quick decision about the offer in a day, but you would definitely save money doing it that way. That's a good idea. Do you know anyone who has done that before? Sure. My sister-in-law and her husband just bought a house that way. They're pretty satisfied with it. Is the house pretty run down? Not at all. The woman who owned it took good care of it. But when she died, she had no family left and no will. So the government had to sell it for her. Was it a very old house? It was about 75 years old. There were a few repairs that needed doing, but it didn't take a lot of money or time. Is it in a good location? Uh, the area can be a bit rough in the evenings, but the neighbors watch out for each other, so it's okay. Thirteen. My dream home. Word storm. Outdoor deck. Cable TV. Ocean view. Park view. Vegetable garden. Remote control. Self catering. Barbecue, hi-fi, ornament, vase, blind, tableware, king size, bunk bed, loo, mantelpiece, au pair. Dialogue 1 have you ever thought about your ideal home? I have, actually. I've always wanted to build my dream home myself. What would it be like? Well, they would be spacious and located next to a park because a nice view is important to me. How many rooms would it have? I'd want it to have three bedrooms on a second floor with balconies on each and one main bedroom on the main floor with an attached ensuite. I'd also want a large living room and kitchen connected to each other so that there would be one large open space for people to spend time with each other. How many bathrooms would your dream home have? I'd have one guest bathroom in the basement, one attached to the main bedroom, and one upstairs, so a total of three. How would you decorate your house? I don't like a lot of clutter, so I wouldn't have a lot of things out. I would have a few vases on the mantelpiece, and some pictures of my family on the walls. But other than that, most things would be kept in closets. How many TVs would your dream home have? Uh, I think a TV is a great waste of time. So I would only have one small TV in the kitchen to watch the news in the morning. Dialogue 2 have you ever seen Bill Gates' home on the internet? No. What's it like? It's got its own library, theater, swimming pool, and a guest house. The house itself has about 10 different rooms that are all hooked up to computers so you can get things done in each room through a remote control. It's also located near the sea, 
so he can park his boats next to his house. It's absolutely amazing. Would you want to live there? I think his house is fantastic, but I wouldn't want to live there. You'd have to hire one or two people to clean all the rooms in the house, plus a few people to take care of the gardens and probably an au pair or two to take care of the children. It's just too big of a place to take care of on your own. What's your dream home like then? My dream home is actually just a small cottage in a quiet village in England. Would you want to buy an old cottage or build a new one yourself? Old homes are great because they've got character. I think that's important. Is that why you wear second-hand clothes as well? Because they've got character? No, that's just because I don't have enough money to buy new clothes all the time. I see. If you lived in an old house, would it be decorated in a modern way? No, I definitely try to restore it to its original state. I'd love to imagine what it'd be like to live in another time in history, and living in a house decorated like it would have been two hundred years ago would be a great way to feed my imagination even more. Fourteen. Household appliances. Word storm. In the lounge. CD player. Carpet. Coffee table. Sofa. Armchair. Curtain. Bookcase. Cushion. Fireplace. Closed enclosure. Remote control. Mantelpiece. On the dining table. Knife. Coaster. Fork. Wine glass. Plate. Tableware. Napkin. Soup spoon. Dessert spoon. In the kitchen. Toaster. Cupboard. Dishwasher. Freezer. Fridge. Microwave cooker. Plug. Sink. Tap. Teapot. Kettle. Whisk. Scale. Tin opener. Casserole dish. Saucepan. Oven glove. Vegetable peeler. Jobs around the house. Vacuum cleaner. Bucket. Mop. Spanner. Torch. Pliers. Ironing board. Scissors. Liquid crystal display. LCD. Screwdriver. Dialogue one. It's so great to be here. I'm so excited to help you and my daughter with your new home. We're glad that you're here. Would you like a tour of the house? That'd be great. But could I have a cup of tea first? Sure. I'll just go put the kettle on. Why don't you have a seat on the sofa, and I'll go take care of the things in the kitchen. That would be lovely. Thanks. Do you take milk or sugar with your tea? I'll take a little milk, but no sugar, please. Make sure you let the tea steep a few minutes before you take the tea bag out of the cup. Okay. What do you think about our living room? Well, I do like the mantelpiece and the coffee table, but I don't really care for curtains. Did you get them at a yard sale? They look ancient. My parents gave them to us as a housewarming gift. <gasps> oh dear. Well, I suppose they will do for now. Do you have a dust in here? It seems a bit dusty in here. Your daughter usually does the dusting, and I do the vacuuming. I see. Well, 
I can help with the chores while I'm here. You two could probably use my help. That's very nice of you to offer. Here's your tea. Be careful, it's still quite hot. Dialogue 2 Your daughter will be back soon. I'm going to start making dinner. You can just watch some TV in TV room if you like. We just bought a new TV with LCD screen. The remote control is on the coffee table next to the armchair. Would you mind if I helped out in the kitchen instead? I do enjoy cooking. This is supposed to be your vacation. We'd like you to just relax. Cooking makes me feel relaxed. So, what are we cooking? Okay, well, we're going to make a pan of lasagna, a salad, and some garlic bread. Here's the recipe. Do you want to get the ingredients we need out of the cupboard? Sure. We should probably preheat the oven right away, too. That's a good idea. Can you set the oven to 200 degrees Celsius? That's a bit high for lasagna. I'll just set it at 180 degree, and we can take it from there. Fine. I'll just get out the casserole dish, the saucepan, the salad bowl, and the baking sheet. You know, I could do this myself. Why don't you get the screwdriver and the pliers and go fix the vacuum cleaner so it works better? I don't think it's broken. Well, if it's not broken, then you need to learn how to vacuum better. Because it doesn't look like you've vacuumed for ages. Fine. I'll go vacuum. Let me know if you need any other help. Fifteen. Around a house. Community. Word storm. Suburb. Countryside. Town center. Rough. Posh. Library. Residential area. Middle class area. Housing estate. Health center. Community worker. Fire department. Main street. Avenue. Block. Setting. Prostitution. Neighborhood. Dialogue 1. Are you still coming to my place for dinner tomorrow night? Of course. Is the dinner still on? Yes. I was just wondering how you and your roommate were planning on coming to my place. We were planning on walking both ways, since the weather is still nice. That's what I thought you would do. Listen, I live in a bit of a rough neighborhood. It's just down the street from all the bars. You probably don't want to be walking around after dark. It can't be that bad. I wish it wasn't. But there is actually a lot of crime and prostitution around here. Really? I never would have guessed. The criminals must only come out in the evening. Because I've never noticed anything strange when I've been at your house in the daytime. Mm, do me a favor and take a taxi. It'd make me feel a lot better. Okay, we will. How do you get around in the evenings? When I first moved in, I walked everywhere. But within a week, I had my purse stolen, just a block away from the police station. Now, I always take public transportation. Has anything else happened to you? Nothing else has happened to me. But I've seen quite a few fights on the streets after the bars close. Well, we'll be careful. Thanks for letting me know. Dialogue 2 have you heard about Michael's new home? It's in one of the poshest areas in this area. Is he living in the new housing estate in Kidlington? No, he's living in an old house in Worston. Do you mean the one near the health centre on Old Slate Road? That's the one. His house must be worth millions. 
That is one of the most beautiful areas in Oxford. The surrounding area is really peaceful, and getting into the city centre from there is very convenient. How can he afford that place? He didn't buy it. His grandfather died recently and left him loads of money. Did he know that his grandfather was so wealthy? No one in the family expected to get a dime from him. It was quite a surprise. What a lucky man! He still has a complaint, though. What's that? He wanted to live right on a bus line, but he doesn't. So if he wants to take a bus anywhere, he has to walk a quarter mile to get to a bus stop.、Oh, the poor thing. It must be difficult being him. You can say that again. Sixteen. Shopping. Word storm. Bakery. Butchers. Chemists. Pharmacy. Florists. Ironmongers. Off license. News agents. Chain store. Branch. Mall. Aisle. Checkout. Trolley. Keep the receipt. Get a refund. Try on. Window shopping. Fitting room. Pay by check. Three, four, two. Special offer. Coupon. Clearance sale. Green grocers. Online shopping. Dialogue one. It's such a nice day outside. Let's take a walk into town and do some window shopping. You know I hate shopping more than anything else in the world. I know, but we could get some exercise in, and we could get some errands run too. Window shopping won't cost you anything. What kind of errands do we need to run? Well, we could go to the newsagents to pick up the Sunday paper, go to the butchers to pick up a chicken for a roast dinner, and to the chemists to pick up your prescription from the doctor. I'll only go if we can stop at the off license to pick up something to drink for tonight. Fine, we'll do that on the way home. So we don't have to carry it the whole time. Sounds good. You have to promise not to go into any of the stores in the mall, though. I know how you like to try on things in the fitting rooms, especially if the stores have special offers. I promise. We're only going for a walk to get some exercise and to get some things done that we haven't had time for. Okay, let's go then. Do you have any money? For what? For our errands and maybe a little extra something from a vendor on the street. You said you were only going to window shop. I agreed not to go into the mall, but I can still look at things in the market. I should have known. Dialogue two. What do you think about this store? I heard it's a posh store that's only got branches in big cities. I love this store. The only problem is, is that it's extremely expensive. Don't worry, I've decided that for your birthday, I'm going to take you shopping for a new dress. Really? I thought you hated shopping. I do. That's why you should appreciate this gift.、Oh, sure, that's really nice of you. Let's go in and try some things on. How about this red dress? I think it would really suit you. That's gorgeous. Do they have it in a size eight? Here you go. On any other day, it would cost me a fortune, but it's on special offer today. Oh, I don't think this color is quite right for me. Do they have the same dress in white? Let me look. Let's see. They've got one in blue, green, pink, black, and white. Here you are. This is perfect. What do you think? I think you look fantastic. Happy birthday! I'm so lucky. 
You only get a chance like this once in a blue moon. Thanks, honey. Seventeen. Clothes and fashion. Word storm. Boutique. Blouse. Scarf. Shawl. Jeans. Accessories. Earring. Bracelet. Anklet, high heels, tights, cigarette holder, cufflinks, name brand, devotee, simple, casual, elegance, go with something, slave of fashion, classic style. Consumption ability. Logo. Dumbfound. By a long way. Dialogue one. All right. Tell me what you think. Don't you think it's a bit bright? Yeah. Maybe you're right. How about this outfit? This dress looks lovely on you, but it's not very practical, is it? No, I don't have any plans to go to a formal dance any time soon. But I love the way it looks. I just had to try it on. What do you think about this? It's casual yet sophisticated. I like the jeans, but you need something to go with the top. It's too plain on its own. How about this scarf, these earrings, and an anklet? That might be going overboard a bit. How about just that scarf with a bracelet? That's a good idea. You have a lot of good fashion sense. Thanks. You'd be okay on your own. There are loads of fashion victims out there, and you are not one of them. Have you tried it on yet? Yep. Here it is. What do you think? That looks great. Just one more thing. You need some high heels with those jeans. Do you want a pair with a plain pattern or ones with a leopard print on them? The leopard print sounds fabulous. Are they a name brand? No, they're a Prada knockoff for one tenth price of the real thing. That's even better than the real thing. If I were you, I'd buy that now while it's on sale. If you spend more than a hundred dollars, you get fifty dollar voucher for more clothes. It's too bad I did all that shopping yesterday. Dialogue two. Can you help me pick out some fabric for a suit? I'm going to get one made for a friend's wedding. Sure. What kind of material do you want the suit to be made from? It depends on the price, but I was thinking of getting a wool cashmere blend. That will probably be quite expensive, but the more you pay for the fabric, the longer it'll last and the better it'll look. What color do you want the suit to be? I was thinking of a brown pinstripe suit. Brown, huh? Isn't that a bit dull? Haven't you heard? Brown is the new black. Why don't you just get black? Black suits are always fashionable and can be worn for anything—a funeral, a wedding, a job interview, anything. That may be true, but black is so boring. Anyways, I already have three black suits. I might as well get a suit that stands out from the rest. Well, here are two different shades of brown. Which one do you prefer? I like the one on the left, but I don't like the pattern on it. It's too much. I want a pattern that's a bit subtler. How about this one? I think that will do. Let's go talk to the tailor about getting it made. Okay, let's go. Eighteen. 
money in your pocket. Word storm. Afford. Greedy. Bankrupt. Debt. Luxury. Interest. Profit. Capital. Bequest. Risky. Poverty. Well off. Well paid. Income tax. Win the lottery. Inflation. Affluent. Investment advisor. Stock market. Foreign currency. Buy shares. Loan. Make ends meet. Incentive. Dialogue one. Hey, Jaden. I was wondering if you could do me a favor. That depends. What is it? It's kind of a big favor. I'm absolutely flat broke, and I owe my landlady two hundred dollars. She's given me until Friday to give it to her, but I don't get paid until next Monday. Do you think you could loan me some cash until I get paid? I'd love to help you out, but I'm a bit short on cash this month as well. I had to get a new engine put into my car, and that ate up my savings. If you can't give me the full amount, a fraction of it would still help. I'll pay you back on Monday. I promise. Let's see. I've got about fifty bucks to get me through the weekend. I can only spare about twenty. I would give you more if I had it. I just don't have much money to my name right now. Ah,、oh, thanks a lot, Jaden. Every little bit will help. Tell you what, if you aren't doing anything tonight, why don't you come over and have dinner at my place? That'd be great. Thanks. What time should I come over? How about six p.m.? See you then. Dialogue two. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's going to be impossible to make ends meet if I lose my job. Don't worry. I don't think you're going to lose your job over one mistake. It was a rather big mistake. When you work as an investment advisor, one small mistake can cost the company millions. But it wasn't just you who was involved, right? You were only doing what your supervisor told you to do. That's true, but my supervisor is very dishonest. There's no reason he needs to tell our boss the truth. I'm sure he will tell our boss that it was all my fault, and there's nothing I can do about that. My boss won't believe me if I tell him the truth. Let's think realistically about what might happen. How much money do you have in your savings? I have enough to live off of for about three months, but I really don't want to spend my life savings on just living. I'd rather invest my money somehow. Well, you can't have everything. Let's just figure out what you'll do if you lose your job. When is your contract up on your apartment? Next month. So I can either move out then or renew my contract for another year. Well, that's good. If you lose your job, you can just move in with me until you find another job. That will save you plenty of money. That's very generous of you. I guess that would work. If you lose your job, you just have to go for a few months without buying all the junk you usually buy. If you live frugally, you'll save plenty of money. I guess working with so much money has made me rather greedy. Maybe losing my job would be a good thing. Nineteen. At the bank. Word storm. Bank account. Bank statement. Balance. Automatic teller machine. Current account. Mortgage. Overdrawn. Pay in. Deposit. 
Withdraw. Debit card. Money order. Savings. Current exchange rate. Draft. Standing order. Overdraft. Transaction. Electronic. Loan. Dialogue 1. Good morning. How can I help you? I'd like to open a new account. Have you filled out an application form? Yes, and I've brought some documents along with me, too. Do you need to see my passport? Yes. I'll just have my assistant look over these quickly, and then we'll move on to the next step. Did you want to open up a checking account and a savings account? Yes. Does the checking account come with a debit card? Yes. Actually, both accounts come with cards that you can use in ATM machines so that you won't have to come in to the bank to make a transaction. That's very convenient. It is. Our customers really like it. Do you have any other questions about your new accounts? Yes. What's the maximum amount that you are allowed to have in an overdraft? The maximum is $1,000. Is there a penalty for having an overdraft? Yes, but it's not much. You just have to pay 1% interest on the amount. It's much lower rate than any of our loans, and it's much better than owing money to most credit cards. That's true. Is everything all right with my documents? They're all in order. If you just sign your name here, you'll receive your cards and PIN numbers in the mail in about three weeks. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Dialogue 2. Excuse me, I have a question about transferring money from one account to another. I can help you there. Do you have the account numbers with you? Yes. Are they both under your name? No, this account is my girlfriend's account, and that one is mine. Okay. And you are going to put money into your girlfriend's account? Yes. Would it be possible to check my balance first? Not a problem. It looks like you have $450 in your current savings account. Okay. Could you transfer $200 into her account then? Would you like to add a narrative? Sure. Could you just type, Hope this helps with your rent. Love, C. That's very sweet of you. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. I hope she does. I've got rent due next week myself. Well, you know that you can have a $1,000 overdraft on this account, right? Yes. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Twenty at the post office. Word storm. Post. Send. Mail. Parcel. Package. By airmail. Letter. Mail. Letterbox. Deliver. Signature. Registered mail. Regular mail. Postcode. Zip code. Telegram. Rate. Overweight. Postage. Philately. Envelope. Weigh a parcel. Seal an envelope. By ordinary mail. By surface mail. Dialogue 1. Excuse me. Could you tell me which line I'm supposed to stand in to buy bubble wrap and to post a package? You can buy the bubble wrap here, but you'll have to stand in line over there to post your package. Oh, that's a really long line. How long do you think it'll take to get through all those people? It takes about three minutes per person, so it'll probably be about an hour's wait. Can I buy stamps here? Sure. 
How many would you like? I need 30 for my Christmas cards. Are you sending them abroad? 20 of them are going abroad to China and America. Do you have any going anywhere in the EU? If you do, those are less expensive. No. Okay. Here you go. That will be 18 pounds and 72 pence. And the bubble wrap? That's another quid. Thanks a lot. You've been very helpful. Dialogue 2. How can I help you? I'd like to send this package to China. Would you like to send it surface or airmail? What's the difference between surface and airmail? If you send the parcel with surface mail, it will take about two months to arrive, whereas with airmail, it will arrive in seven to ten days. That's a big difference. I suppose airmail will be much more expensive. That depends on the weight. How much will it cost to send it airmail? Place it on the scale, please. Okay. That's 500 grams. It will cost 10 pounds for airmail. That's not bad. I'll do that then. Does that include insurance on the contents of the parcel? Or is that a separate fee? That's separate. It's another 50p. Okay. Just fill in this customs form. Make sure you press hard so that the information transfers to all three papers. All right. Do I need to put a return address on the package? Yes, that would be ideal. If the package doesn't make it to the recipient's address, then it will be sent back to the sender. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Twenty-one. Eating out. Word storm. Drive in. Cafe. Canteen. Cafeteria. Buffet. Deli. Takeaway. Non-smoking section. Beverage. Set menu. Table for two. Tip. Main course. Side dish. Dessert. Portion. Bill. Kebab. Rare. Apertif. Corkage. Go Dutch. Keep the change. Appetizer. Make a reservation. Book a table. Dialogue 1. Do you want to go out for dinner tonight? Sure. Have you got anywhere in mind? I'm starving. So maybe we could go somewhere with large portions. That Italian restaurant in the city center always has large portions. Do you want to go there? Mm, I'm not really in the mood for Italian, actually. I was thinking of something a bit spicy. If you want spicy food, then I'd recommend going to a Thai, Indian, or Chinese restaurant. How about that Chinese buffet on Cowley Road? I really like that restaurant. You get a lot for your money there. But they've westernized their food, so it's not actually that spicy. You're right. Most of their dishes have sweet sauces. We could try that Indian restaurant just down the road from us. The Taj? They're a bit expensive, but they do serve large portions of very hot food. The Taj it is, then. Shall we bring our own bottle of wine to save some money? They'll still charge us a corkage fee. That's right. It'll probably work out to be about the same then anyway. Don't worry about the money. I'll treat you tonight. Are you sure? We could go Dutch. No, I'll pay. It's my turn anyway. You paid last time. <laughs> I won't argue with that. Let's go. Dialogue 2 We really were lucky. We got the last available table for two, and we didn't even have a reservation. Did you see the long lines behind us? Yeah. 
I'm glad we didn't have to wait long. I'm starving. Let's take a look at the menu so we can order. Do you want to choose an appetizer for us to share? What would you rather have, samosas or papadums? I heard that one of their specialties is the samosa. Well, let's get a plate of those then. Sounds good. What are you going to have for your main course? I think I might have a dal. What's in a dal? It's got chickpeas and vegetables in a spicy curry sauce with rice. That sounds nice. Do you want to share some kebabs as well? Okay. How about some lamb kebabs? That's my favorite. Did you want to have some wine or beer? I think I'll have a beer. Okay. Shall I flag down the waitress? I wouldn't recommend it. I think we should wait until she comes around. You're right. That might seem a bit rude. It's a good thing I've got you with me. <laughs> What would you do without me? Twenty-two. Insurance. Word storm. Insurer. Premium. Broker. Applicant. Risks covered. Insurance slip. Insured amount. Insurance against risk. Clause. Condition. Life insurance. Medical insurance. Travel insurance. Deductible. Risk insured. Risk. Settlement. Risk assessment. Exemption. Damages. Leaflet. Fine print. Make a claim. Assess a risk. Pay out insurance. Take out insurance. Insurant. The insured. Underwriter. Provide the insurance. Dialogue one. How may I help you today? I'd like to get some information about your insurance policies. What kind of policy are you looking for? I was thinking about taking out a life insurance policy for my wife and I. Okay. Have you ever bought any other insurance policies from our company before? Yes, I currently have a car insurance policy and a house insurance policy with you. That's great. I just need you to look over the terms and conditions here, and then we can start filling in the forms. I've actually already read through them. Do you have any questions about it? No. Okay. Who would you like to be the beneficiary to be on your policies? I'd like my wife to be the primary beneficiary of my policy. I'll be the primary beneficiary of my wife's policy, and our son will be the secondary beneficiary of both policies. Okay. Have you decided on a premium for each policy? Yes, I'd like to take out two single premium life insurance policies. Would you like the option to make withdrawals later on life in an emergency? Yes, please. You never know what might happen in the future. That's so true. Dialogue two. I'd like to get some temporary medical insurance for traveling. Okay, where will you be traveling? My family and I will be traveling to America, and since healthcare is so expensive there, we don't want to leave anything to risk. That's very wise of you. Are you familiar with our different policies? Yes, but I have a question about the Silver Family Account. Does it include medical evacuation for the entire family, or just the person who is sick? It will pay for the person who is sick. Plus one person to accompany him or her to fly back home. I see. How do you make a claim? For any medical emergency less than one thousand dollars, you'll have to pay the hospital directly and then file afterwards to get a refund. How about for medical emergencies that are over one thousand dollars? 
or for those, you'll be exempt from paying completely. Just make sure that you have your insurance cards on you so that you can give us a call when you go to the hospital. Okay. Let me just quickly read the fine print and then I'll add my signature to the forms. You might also want to think about taking out some travel insurance, which will ensure your belongings, flights, and hotel reservations if there are any cancellations or lost belongings. Twenty-three. Common health problems. Word storm. Stomach ache. Jet lag. Allergy. Flu. Obesity. Sore. Short sight. Food poisoning. Diarrhea. Seasick. Swollen. Rash. Itchy. Have a fever. Ointment. Cream. Burn. Graze. Get a headache. Take a tablet. Get better. Cut one's finger. Dialogue 1. You don't look too well. Maybe you should take the day off from work. I couldn't do that. I have an important meeting to go to today. Do you feel okay? Not really. After a 12-hour flight, I've got jet lag. And on top of that, I think I've also got the flu. Why don't you call your secretary and tell her to reschedule the meeting? You should really get some rest, or you'll end up feeling even worse than you do now. Could you feel my forehead and check to see if I have a fever? You're really hot. Let me get you some Tylenol to bring the fever down. Okay. I'll stay home this morning and rest. But if I feel better in the afternoon, I'm going to go to the meeting. Zach, what's that on your arm? I don't know. It looks a bit red, but I'm sure it's nothing. It looks like you have a red rash all over you. Are you allergic to anyone? Just cats but I don't think I was near any cats in the last couple of weeks. Oh, I completely forgot about your cat allergy. I took care of a cat for my friend here a few days ago. Oh, no. We'd better go to the doctor and get some medicine. Let's go. Shouldn't we make an appointment first? We should, but let's just go and see if there's an opening now before it gets worse. Whatever you say, I just want to get to my meeting. Dialogue 2 I feel absolutely horrible. My temperature is 41 degrees Celsius, and I've got a headache and a runny nose. Do you have any other symptoms? I've also got a terrible stomach ache. Is my face still swollen? Just a little. Is your toothache gone now? Yes, for the most part. It doesn't feel as bad as my other ailments anyways. How about your tongue? Does it still hurt? No, the burn ointment seemed to take effect right away. I think it's already healed. How did you get that burn again? I scalded it on hot coffee a few days ago. You haven't had much luck lately, have you? No, but I'm sure I'll get better soon. When's the last time you took your tablets? I took the red ones just before lunch and the white ones just after lunch. I think it's time you took another dose of each. What would you like to drink with them? Just some water, please. Do you have any ointment for my nose? It feels so itchy after blowing my nose so much. Sure. I'll just go and get it now. What would you like to eat? Some soup? That sounds good. Soup always makes me feel better when I'm sick. I hope it makes you feel better too. Twenty-four. 
illness and disease. Word storm. Type. Physician. Internist. Oculist. Eye doctor. Surgeon. Dentist. Vet. Shrink. Symptom. Have a sore throat. Have a cough. Twisted. Sprained. Feel dizzy. Feel chilly. Cramp. Throw up. Have a stuffed nose. Stiff neck. At pharmacy. Pill. Mixture. Eye drops. Syrup. Pad. Antibiotic. Aspirin. Syringe. Stethoscope. Preventative injection. Gauze. Cold cure. Febrifuge. Capsule. Penicillin. Treatment. Case history. Extract. Feel one's pulse. Give a prescription. Have an operation. Make an appointment. Have stitches. Infection. Injection. Prescription. Ambulance. Bandage. Cure. Intensive care. Ward. Outpatients department. Operating theater. Casualty department. Take one's blood pressure. Dialogue one. Hi, Benjamin. My name is Dr. Green. What seems to be the matter? I've been feeling pretty ill for a few days now. What are your symptoms? I feel chilly. I've got cramps. I keep throwing up, and I feel dizzy and tired. It sounds like you might be a bit dehydrated. Do you feel thirsty most of the day? Yes, I can't seem to drink enough. Have you been drinking plenty of water? No, just soda. Okay. Well, we'll have a nurse take some blood in a few minutes to see if you're dehydrated. First, let me feel your pulse. That seems a bit low, but that's not uncommon when you're ill. Is anyone else sick in your home? No, but my girlfriend has mono. I see. I'll have the lab techs run some tests to check for mono as well. Then, the nurse will come in. Then, to take your blood, we'll run some tests, and then you can go home. You should hear from us by this afternoon. Thanks. Dialogue two. Hi, I'm here to pick up some medicine. Do you have the prescription with you? Yes. Let me see. Here it is. Okay. So that's one prescription for some antibiotics. Is that right? Yes. It should be two weeks worth. Hmm. It only says one week here. Would you like me to call the doctor to confirm? Yes. That would be great. I'm sure she said I'd have to take the medicine for two weeks. Okay. You'll have to come back in thirty minutes for that. Do you need anything else? Yes, I need some burn ointment, gauze, and some aspirin. Okay, here you go. Do you want to pay for all that right now? Yes, I might as well. Do you have insurance? Yes, here's my card. You'll just have to pay a five-dollar copayment for the antibiotic prescription then. How much is it altogether? That will be fifteen dollars seventy-five. Would you like it all in a bag? That's okay. I'll just put it all in my backpack. Okay. I'll give your doctor a call and sort out the prescription. It should be ready for you by 4 p.m. Okay, I'll stop by then. Thanks. You're welcome. Twenty-one. 
25. Healthy food. Word storm. Vitamin. Yogurt. Strawberry. Kiwi fruit. Low fat. Organic. Balanced diet. Bean sprout. Breast milk. Calcium. Calorie. Energy. Diet Coke. Eating patterns. Evaporated milk. Grain. Cereal. Green food. Iodized salt. Pesticide. Soybean milk. Vegetarian. Dialogue 1. What do you think about all the different diets people go on? I don't think dieting is good for you. It's much better to eat a balanced diet and to never get overweight to begin with. But what do you think about people who are obese? What should they do to lose weight? They need to eat healthy foods, but they also have to increase the amount of exercise they do every day. They don't have to cut out fattening foods altogether, though. So, you think it's okay for people who are dieting to eat chocolate? Sure, they can eat some chocolate. As long as they are exercising and eating mostly healthy foods, there's nothing wrong with having a small dessert. How about drinking soda? Mm, many people gain weight by drinking far too much soda. Soda should be a treat. There's simply no nutritional value in it whatsoever. If you want to lose weight and you can't stop drinking soda, try some Diet Coke. That's good advice. Have you ever tried taking vitamins? My mother used to make me take vitamins every day, but I don't take them anymore. Vitamins are good as a supplement, but they don't do much good if you don't have a well-balanced diet to start. How do you know so much about food and dieting? You might not believe this, but I used to be twice the size that I am now. Dialogue 2. Would you like to come over for dinner tonight? Sure, but I have to tell you that I've become a vegetarian. I don't eat any kind of meat. When did you decide to become a vegetarian? I saw a program a few months ago about how animals that are raised for human consumption. I haven't been able to eat a single piece of meat since. That's great. Do you find that you eat a lot more fruit and vegetables now? Definitely. I've also been buying organic fruit and vegetables, which is more expensive, but much better for you because they don't have any pesticides on them. You've really turned into a health nut, haven't you? I guess you could say that. Eating fruit and vegetables helps keep you healthy. I've lost five pounds and I feel great. How do you get enough protein in your diet? Well, I eat a lot more tofu, beans, nuts and some fish. Well, don't worry about dinner. I'll only make vegetarian dishes for you. Do you like sushi? I prefer cooked fish to raw fish, but if you really like it, make it. How about a spicy tofu and vegetable stir-fry? That sounds great. What time should I come over? Dinner will be ready about 7.30 p.m., so you can come over at 7 p.m. Sounds good. See you there. Twenty-six. Beauty and Cosmetics Word Storm Sensitive Skin Facial Cleanser Toner Smooth Out Wrinkles Moisture Fragrance Free Fair Complexion Whitener Foundation To apply loose powder Blush Eyeshadow Mascara 
to wear lipstick. Nail polish. Remover. To repair. Lift. Firming. Acne. Sunblock. Sunscreen. Wear the perfume. Odor. Eau de parfum. Parfum de toilette. Eau de toilette. Dialogue 1. How can I help you? I'd like to buy some perfume for my girlfriend. Do you know what kind of scent she usually wears? She usually doesn't wear anything but a few drops of Chanel No. 5, but I'd like to buy her a new fragrance. Okay. Here are some of our most popular perfumes. Which one would you recommend? Personally, I quite like the new perfume by Clinique. It's a subtle flowery scent. What do you think? That smells great. I'll take one bottle, please. Would you like to buy any other cosmetics for your girlfriend? We have a full range of products, from cosmetics to skin cleansers and moisturizers. That's okay. She normally just wears a little foundation and some loose powder, and I wouldn't know what shade to buy. How about some lipstick? Every woman needs a nice tube of red lipstick. She doesn't usually wear lipstick. She thinks it makes her nose look too big. How about some mascara? That will make her eyes look bigger. No, thank you. She has big enough eyes as it is. I know what she would like. Some whitening cream. No, thanks. Western women usually try to make their skin darker, not lighter. Will that be all, then? That will be all. You've been very helpful. Thanks. Dialogue 2 How can I help you? I'm here for a facial. I made an appointment over the phone for 3.30 today. What's your name? Addison. Okay. Which facial would you like? We have five different kinds of facials. Which would you recommend? Well, since it's summer and it looks like you've had quite a bit of sun, I'd recommend our summer special. It's especially suited for individuals with sensitive skin. What does it include? The facial will start with a thorough cleansing. Does it include a facial mask and a massage? Yes. The stimulation mask promotes blood flow and will firm up the skin. You can also choose either to get a hand or back massage as well. Will you exfoliate the skin as well? Yes. We'll also apply some of our special day cream that will moisturize your skin and protect it from the sun. That sounds great. I'll have that one then. Okay. Just follow me. Twenty seven Shape and Fitness Word Storm Push Up Sit Up Chin Up Pull Up Fitness Center Gym Stamina Waistline Build up muscles. Go jogging. Gain weight. Join a fitness club. Athletic. Resistible. Aerobics. Yoga. Kickboxing. Hip hop. Step. Latin aerobics. Pilates, high aerobics, low aerobics, spinning, ballet, martial arts, power flex. Dialogue 1 I really need to lose some weight. I think I'm going to go on a diet. I think a little exercise would do you good. Why don't you join a fitness center? What's wrong with going on a diet? If I don't eat much for a few weeks, I should be able to lose a few pounds. 
Combining exercise with a healthy diet is the most effective way to lose weight. But if you have to choose between exercise and a diet, exercise is the better choice. I hate working out. Besides, I don't want to get too muscular. If you do low impact aerobics, Pilates, or yoga, you can tone up without building up too many muscles. I do like yoga. Do they have any yoga classes at your gym? I'm not sure, but I can look for you. If you join the gym, you can use the pool and take any of the classes you want for free. I didn't know they had a swimming pool at your gym. Do you think swimming would help me lose weight? Sure, it would. It's an excellent form of exercise. Do you think I'd still have to go on a diet to lose weight? I'm not an expert, so I can't tell you. But the trainers at the gym will be able to advise you on your diet and can help you come up with a fitness plan. That's exactly what I need. Thanks for your help. Any time. Dialogue two. Hi, Mackenzie. What do you think of the gym? It's great. The trainers have been really helpful. Do you want to do some work with the dumbbells with me? The trainers told me not to put too much pressure on my body at first, so I can only do a few repetitions. That's good advice. When I first joined the gym, I ended up getting injured from exercising too much. After the dumbbells, let's work with the yoga ball. It's really good for the waistline. I've never used that before. What can you do with it? Personally, I like to do sit-ups on the yoga ball. Why don't you just do sit-ups on the floor like most people do? Well, the yoga ball supports your back and can prevent injuries. Besides, you can work more muscles with it because you have to balance yourself on the ball while doing the sit-ups. I see. Isn't it mainly for women? Don't be silly. Men can use it too. If you do a few of these exercises every day, I'm sure you'll soon be able to deal with that waistline. Look who's the expert now. The tables have turned a bit, haven't they? They sure have. But to be honest, I'm glad that you're enjoying yourself. Twenty-eight. Coping with stress. Word storm. Psychology. Mental pressure. Guilty. Insomnia. Sleepless. Nightmare. Depression. Blue mood. Anxiety. Tension. Consultation. Tutor. Relaxation. Cope with. Stressful. Impatient. Associated with. Homesick. Dialogue one. How come you're still up? Shouldn't you be asleep by now? I have been having a hard time sleeping lately. As far as I know. Insomnia is usually caused by stress. Are you stressed at all? Well, I'm really worried about my grades. I didn't think this course would be so stressful. You're a good student. I'm sure you'll do well. What you need to do is to relax. You're probably right. I just wish it were that simple. How can I stop feeling so anxious all the time? Taking a yoga class or learning some re- relaxation techniques can help you cope with your stress. I don't really have time to learn anything new. I need to spend my time studying. You need to take some breaks throughout the day. Studying all day isn't very usually effective. You're right. I usually end up staring at my computer or checking my email instead of doing my work for class. Besides, it's not difficult to learn yoga. In fact, I can teach you a move that's supposed to help you fall asleep. You just have to sit down like this, bend over, and breathe in deeply. That's fantastic. I'm going to go try that out in my room now. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Dialogue two. 
Good morning. Good morning, Gav. Did you sleep well last night? I slept like a baby. I fell asleep right away last night. Didn't wake up once and didn't have any nightmares. That's great news. You look much more relaxed than you did yesterday. I feel much better, but I'm still worried about something. What's that? Well, I have to drive to school for a meeting this morning, and I'm going to end up getting stuck in rush hour traffic. That's annoying, but nothing to worry about. For me, traffic jams are quite stressful because I'm pretty impatient. How can I prevent myself from getting stressed if I'm stuck in a traffic jam? Just breathe deeply when you feel yourself getting upset. Okay, I'll try that. Is there anything else bothering you? Just one more thing. A school called me this morning to see if I could teach a few classes this weekend, and I don't know what to do. Do you have any other plans this weekend? I'm supposed to work on a paper that's due on Monday. Try not to take on more than you can handle. You're right. I probably should just work on my paper. Thanks. Twenty-nine. City sightseeing. Word storm. Go on holiday. Take a vacation. Package holiday. Travel agent. City sightseeing. Excursion. High season. Off season. Art gallery. Cathedral. Resort. Fountain. Statue. Palace. Guidebook. Brochure. To pick someone up. Underground. One way. Single. Round trip. Return. Baggage. To pack a suitcase. Touristy. Terminal. Dialogue one. The May holiday is coming up soon. Are you planning on going on vacation? I am. I just went to the travel agents and picked up these brochures. Where are you planning on going? I fancy going to Tibet for a few days. Have you ever been there? I went a long time ago, before they built the new train that can take you there. Would you recommend going there for a few days? Personally, I think it'd be better to go when you have more time. A few days isn't really enough to get acclimatize yourself and to go on a few excursions outside of the capital. You're probably right. What do you think about Yangshuo? It's a beautiful city, but I think it's become too touristy. How about going to a cosmopolitan city like Shanghai or Hong Kong?、Uh, I'd like to get away from the big city life. Maybe you should consider going to a hot springs resort outside of Beijing. I heard they are very relaxing. I guess if I only have a few days, I should probably think about going somewhere that isn't too far away. Since the May holiday is the high season, you should probably call ahead to reserve a room. Here's the phone number. Thanks. I'll give them a call later. Dialogue two. Welcome back. How was your vacation? It was fantastic, but I'm glad to be back. Being a tourist is really tiring. Where did you end up going? Because it's off season, we got a really good package deal to Paris, so we went there. I've always wanted to go to Paris. The Eiffel Tower is one of the most famous tourist attractions in the world. Did you go to the top? That was the first thing we did. I have a few pictures. Do you want to see them? Sure. What's this one a picture of? Oh, that's a picture of me on our fourth day of traveling. I'm standing next to a famous fountain in the center of the city. You don't look very happy in that picture. No, by that time I was sick of sightseeing. I had had enough of art galleries, cathedrals, fountains, statues, and palaces. So what did you do? We spent that afternoon walking around a flea market. We had a few coffees, watched a movie, and went for a swim in the pool at the hotel. 
My travel agent always reminds me to plan a day of relaxing for every three days of sightseeing. Did you go to the Louvre? Of course. You can't go to Paris without going to their most famous art gallery. I was surprised by how small the Mona Lisa was, though. That's what everyone says. I can't wait to see it for myself someday. Thirty. Business trip. Word storm. Make a reservation. Book a hotel. Flight. Economy class. Business class. First class. Window seat. Aisle seat. Check in. Lounge. Flight attendant. Departure time. Confirm. Fare. Exposition. Dialogue one. I have some good news for you. We've decided we'd like to sh- send you to Shanghai on a business trip this weekend. Oh. Don't you think that it'd be a good thing for you to get out of the office for a couple of days? Sure. I thought you'd be a bit more excited about this. Everything will be paid for, and I'll send my assistant with you to take care of everything for you. All you have to do is get on the train tonight at seven p.m. The train? Will I be flying back then? Oh no, we've bought your return ticket for you. I think you'll find it comfortable. Will the train be very crowded? Oh no, the train hasn't been crowded at all recently. Besides, you're in first class, so you'll be fine. When is the first meeting then? They've scheduled the negotiation meeting for nine o'clock tomorrow morning. That should give you enough time to have a quick shower. Where will I be staying? We've booked you a room in the same hotel as your meetings, so you won't need to deal much with the transportation system. That's very sensible. Would it be all right if I left early today to prepare for the trip? That's not a problem. Have a nap if you can. You don't know how tight the schedule is for this business trip. Dialogue two. Did you get my email? I certainly did. Do you want to come in and give me some feedback about your weekend? Sure. How did the business trip go? Well, to be honest, nothing is more stressful than going on a business trip with our boss. I understand. The last time I went on a business trip with the boss, I didn't even have enough to eat. I also think that the company is pretty cheap with travel expenses. I spent half of the weekend on a train. Surely they could have afforded to buy a few plane tickets. Our company is quite conscious of the environmental problems that frequent flying causes. I see. Well, then perhaps they could give me a few days off after a business trip. It was really tiring for me. I can ask the boss about giving you the day off today. Thank you. I can't imagine getting much done today. I'm just too exhausted. No problem. Did you bring any gifts back for your department? No. Should I have? Thirty-one. Holiday DIY. Word storm. Backpacker. Youth hostel. B and B. Breakfast included. Car parking available. Wheelchair friendly. Linen included. Credit cards accepted. Security lockers. Luggage storage. Twenty-four hour reception. No curfew. 
No lockout. Age restriction. Taxes included in price. Domestic. Scenic spot. To freeze to death. Historic heritage. Jet setter. To be tricked. Weather forecast. Winter break. Summer break. Rating. Vacancy. Free internet access. Destination. 24 hours check in. To fry an egg on the sidewalk. To broaden one's horizon. To one's heart's content. Dialogue 1. So, what do you think we should do for our anniversary? Should we stay in a hotel or go backpacking in a park? I'm too old to go backpacking. Let's stay in a B&B in a scenic spot. Since the weather is supposed to be nice, why don't we stay at a hotel with an outdoor swimming pool? That's a good idea. I know of a reasonably priced hotel with a swimming pool that's just a stone's throw away from Hyde Park. That's an excellent location. It must be one of the only hotels with an outdoor swimming pool in the heart of London. They're also known for their huge breakfasts that keep you going all day. We can eat to our heart's content in the morning and then spend the rest of the day in the pool. Should I call them to make a reservation then? You might as well see if they have any vacancies. Do they take credit cards? Let me just check their website to find out. Well? Let's see. It says that breakfast is included, car parking is available, Taxes are included in the price. There's free internet access. And yes, credit cards are accepted. Fantastic. Let's book it for the Saturday night then. And find out what time we can check in so we can make as much use of the pool as possible. Dialogue 2 I've booked the room for Saturday night. What time can we check in? We can check in at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. What about check out? Check out is at 11 a.m., but you can request a late check out for an extra 10 pounds. Should we do that? Why not? Then we can sleep in and relax by the pool before we head home. Lockers are also available for luggage near the pool facilities, so we could spend the entire afternoon at the pool, even after check out. Well, in that case, we won't need to pay for a late check out. Let's just wait and see how we feel. We might want to sleep in on Sunday morning. That's a good deal. How about internet access? Is it available in the rooms? Unfortunately not. They only offer free internet and Wi-Fi access in the lobby. That's all right. We won't really need it anyway, will we? No, I think we'll manage going without the internet access for a night. How are we going to get there? Should we take the bus? Since they offer free parking, let's just drive. Okay. What time do you think we should hit the road on Sunday? If we leave by noon, we should be able to get there by 2 o'clock. What do you think? Maybe we should leave at 11 o'clock. That way, we'll have time to stop for lunch before we get to the hotel. 11 o'clock it is, then. Go pack your bags. Thirty-two. Going abroad. Word storm. Passport. Visa. Boarding card. Excess baggage. Hand luggage. Non-settlement form. Marital status. Transit. Landing. Travel insurance. Aircraft crash. Discount tickets. Luggage reclaim. Duty free. Customs. Arrival. Declare. Shuttle. Queue here. 
departure. Dialogue 1 Hello, where are you headed today? I'm off to Barcelona for a week. Do you have your passport with you? Yes, here you go. I don't need a visa to go to Spain, do I? Fortunately for you, you don't. Next time, if you have any questions about visas, you should try to find out before you get to the airport. That's good advice. Would you like a window seat or an aisle seat? Are there any seats available by the emergency exits? Yeah, let me see here. Yes, there's one left. Okay, I'll take that one then. All right. How many pieces of luggage are you checking in? I like to travel light, so I just have this one. If that's your only piece of luggage, it is small enough to carry on with you. Would you like to do that so that you don't have to wait in the luggage reclaim once you arrive? Yes, please. That's a fantastic idea. Which gate do I need to go to? You're here a bit early, so check the departure screens in the waiting area in about half an hour. Here's your boarding pass. Enjoy your flight. Dialogue 2 Can I see your passport, please? Is this line for non-residents? Yes, it is. Residents can queue up in the lines to my right. Okay. Here's my passport. What's the expiration date on your passport? I think it's soon, maybe in a few months. It was renewed in Beijing, so the new expiry date is on the last page. I see. Yes, you'll need to renew your passport in a few months. Make sure you don't let it expire while you are in the UK. I won't. Do you have anything to declare? Nope, I don't have anything to declare. How long will you be staying in the UK? I'll be there for about a year. What is the purpose of your stay? I'll be studying. I'm doing an MBA at Nottingham University. Where will you be staying? I have a housing contract with the university. I'll be in a dorm room on campus. How do you plan on paying for your living costs and tuition fees while you are here? My father has already paid for that in advance. Here are the receipts. Okay. Have a good state. Here's your passport and documents back. Thank you very much. Thirty-three. Short weekend trip. Word storm. Beach. Botanic garden. Inflatable dinghy. Horizon. Flipper. Beach towel. Bikini. High tide. Low tide. Go hiking. Visit amusement park. Caravan. Lays around. Sunbathe. Go camping. Routine. Cruise. Rough. End up. Tend to. Lilo. Sun lounger. Windsurfer. Dialogue 1. How are you doing, Christopher? To be honest, I'm really fed up with work at the moment. I need a break. Are you doing anything this weekend? I have to work on Saturday all day. I really hate my job. Are you available on Sunday? Yes, it's my only day off until Thursday. Okay, well, my friends and I are planning to go to the beach on Sunday. We tend to leave around noon whenever we go anywhere, so you could still sleep in. Do you want to come with us? That'd be fantastic. Which beach are you going to? It's a quiet beach, just about an hour outside of the city. What should I bring with me? We've got plenty of inflatables, but if you want to sit in a chair, you'll have to bring your own sun lounger. I can just use my beach towel. I love lazing around in the sun. Do you like surfing? I've actually never tried. Do you have a surfboard? We've got a few. I can teach you how to surf on Sunday. It'll be fun.
I can't wait. It sounds like we're going to have a great time. How much money should I bring? You'll just need roughly $10 for food and gas money. My friend is driving, so we usually all chip in a few dollars for gas money. Okay. Where and when should I meet you? We'll pick you up at your place at noon. Be there or be square. Dialogue 2 Thanks so much for inviting me. Spending the day in the sun made me feel as if I were in a different world. We're glad you came. What did you think of the sunset? It was amazing. Watching the sunset over the lake was such a delight for me. It was really beautiful, wasn't it? Did you feel a bit more relaxed afterwards? Definitely. I actually had a very restful time. How about your sunburn? Has it started peeling yet? Yes, I've been shedding my skin left and right. But it's not as itchy as it was on Monday. I'm so sorry about that. I should have reminded you to use some sunscreen. Don't worry, it's not your fault. I should have known better. Sunbathing in hot weather all day? Say, I know that you have a three-day weekend this week. Do you want to go camping with us? I'd love to, but I don't have a tent. Don't worry. We can find an extra one for you. We plan on staying at the camping site at night and then going hiking during the day. Great. I'll bring sunscreen this time. Thirty-four. Theme, travel. Word storm. Type. Ski. Disneyland. Wedding. Honeymoon. Diving. Adventure travel. Spa. World Cup. Carnival, National Park, Ocean Park, Amusement Park, Ferris Wheel, Giant Slide, Monorail, Entrance, Swinging Boat, Money Exchanger, Merry-Go-Round, Revolving Boat, Mini train, go kart, astrojet, rotor, mad mouse. Dialogue one. Have you ever been to Disney World? When I was young, my parents took me to the one in California. I always forget which. Is that one Disneyland or Disney World? The one in Florida is Disney World, and the one in California is Disneyland. So you must have been to Disneyland. That's right. Why do you ask? Well, I've never been to either, so I was thinking of going to Disney World for my honeymoon. When are you getting married? Sometime next year. We haven't set the date yet. Congratulations! I had no idea. Thank you. So what do you think? Would we have a good time? Do you like amusement parks? For the most part, yes. Some of the rides are a bit too scary for me, though. If you don't think twice about the rides and go on every ride that you can, you'll have a good time. Even the roller coasters that go through tunnels in the dark? Even those. It'll be very romantic, I think. You'll have loads of fun. Thanks for the advice. I'll talk to my fiancé about it tonight. I'm sure he'll love the idea. Just throw yourself into it and you'll enjoy it. Dialogue 2. Well, how was your honeymoon? It was fantastic. We had such a good time. The only problem was that because it was their high season, we spent hours queuing. Peak periods always entail hours of queuing. At least you got a nice tan, though. Yes. Florida had great weather while we were there. You look tan, too. Did you go somewhere? 
My friends and I just got back from Bali. Wow. Bali Islands have some of the best beaches in the world, don't they? Yes, we were lucky. My friend's father owns a resort on one of the islands, so we were able to stay for free. Did you go diving while you were there? I took a few diving classes, but I didn't really like it, so I did snorkeling instead. Did you take any pictures in the ocean? I've got quite a few pictures of all different kinds of fish. I'll show them to you next time I see you. Have you started planning your Christmas vacation yet? We're planning on going skiing in Switzerland. Do you ski? No, but I do like snowboarding. Would you like to go skiing with us for Christmas? I'll talk to my husband about it. I'm sure he'll say yes. He loves Switzerland. It is Europe's spotless land of lakes and mountains. Let me know as soon as you can so we can get a discount. Thirty-five. Souvenirs. Word storm. Postcard. Key ring. Refrigerator magnet. Handkerchief. Arts and crafts. Sample. Toy. Poster. Woodworking. Latch. Knitting. Shell craft. Glass arts. Cross stitch. Ceramics. Pottery. Bead. Charm. Mask. Gift wrap. Candle and soap making. Dialogue one. Can I help you? Could you show me where your vases are located? Sure. They're just on the shelf over here. They're handmade in the workshop behind this souvenir shop. They're beautiful. I'll take a pair of the green vases. Would you like me to wrap them for you? Yes, please. Could you wrap them up separately and send them to my sisters in New York by mail for me? Sure. Can I interest you in some of the shell crafts that are also handmade here? They're very nice, but I think I'll pass. Perhaps your sisters would like a keyring. There are plenty of vivid designs printed on the keyrings that you can choose from. No, thank you. I'll just stick with the vases. Thanks. I'm in a bit of a hurry. All right. I'll wrap this up as quickly as I can. While I do this, you can write their names and addresses on these forms. Okay. How much will that be? Uh, with shipping, that will be two hundred euros. I'll throw in a few keyrings for you as well. There you go. Thank you very much. How long will it take for the vases to arrive in New York? They should get there in about three weeks. Here's my business card. If you have any problems, you can contact me by email. Have a nice day. Dialogue two. Hello. Do you remember me? I bought some vases from you yesterday. Yes, you sent them to New York, right? That's right. I thought I'd come back to buy a few more souvenirs. What did you have in mind? Well, first, I'd like to buy a few postcards. My sister used to always send a postcard to herself whenever she went anywhere. I want to do that too. We have plenty of postcards to choose from here. The same designs can be found on these posters. Posters are difficult to travel with. I think I'll just buy the postcards. I heard that you might also have some of the masks that are made in Venice. Yes, we do. They're on the wall behind you. How much do they cost? The prices are clearly marked on the back of each mask. Would you like me to get one down for you to look at? Yes, I think I'd like the green mask in the middle. Here you go. I'll take it. I'd also like to buy some chocolate. Are you looking for some homemade chocolate as a gift? Yes, it's my girlfriend's birthday today, and she loves chocolate. We've got plenty to choose from here. They look delicious. I think she'll be pleased.
36. Cycling. Word storm. Pedal a bicycle. Cyclist. Pedal. Handlebar. Crossbar. Gear. Saddle. Tire. Chain. Mud guard. Brake. Spoke. Pump. Tandem bicycle. Get on. Get off. Helmet. Ascent. Take over. Yellow jersey. Tour de France. Cycling mountain bike. Cross country. Number plate. Dialogue one. How do you usually get to school? I usually ride my bike. Which form of transport do you prefer to use? I feel that I can see more when I pedal a bicycle, but when I feel lazy, I drive my car. I think we should discourage people from using their private cars. They produce too much pollution. I agree, but I would find it difficult to stop using my car. It's just so convenient. Cars might be convenient, but they're so bad for the environment. Do you have a car? No, I used to have one though. Once I started using my bicycle to get around, I found that I didn't really need it. Maybe if I sold my car now, I wouldn't be so tempted to use it. You could try. It would save you a lot of money. That's true. Every month I spend hundreds of dollars on gas, insurance, and repairs. If you got to class by riding a bicycle every day instead of driving, you'll get lots of exercise too. I could stand to lose a few pounds. Having a car has made me lazy. I never end up walking anywhere. Let's go to a car dealership. I'll help you try to sell your car for a good price. Sounds good. Let's go. Dialogue two. Are you ready to go to the concert? Yes. Should we go there by bus so we aren't late? Actually, why don't we go there by bike? We could get stuck in traffic if we travel by bus in rush hour. That's true. Cycling's good for our environment too. Let me just get my helmet then. Is your helmet comfortable?、Mm, not really, but I liked the design, so I got it. Maybe you should think about getting a round helmet. They're better. I'll think about it. Is that your new bicycle? Yes, my father gave it to me for my birthday. Do you like it? It's the newest ten-speed cycling mountain bike. These are really expensive. Nothing but the best from my dad. I like everything about it except for the brakes. They're a bit sticky. I can fix those for you. Is there anything else wrong with it? Well, my saddle is too low for me. Do you know how to change the height? That's easy. It's important to have the saddle high enough so that your legs can extend fully when you're on your bicycle. Is that why my knees have felt sore after every time I've ridden my bike? It's possible. Give me a minute, and I can fix these for you, and then we can go. Thirty-seven. Driving cars. Word storm. Indicate. Start. Break. Park. Overtake. Reverse. Pick somebody up. Drop somebody off. Give somebody a lift. Driving license. Driving test. Servicing. Limousine. Saloon. Number plate. Boot. Dashboard. Heating controls. Motorway. Comprehensive. 
Steering wheel. Windscreen. Wing mirror. Rear view mirror. Accelerator. Dialogue 1. Wow, is that your sports car? Yes. Do you like it? I love it. I used to always want to drive a green Jaguar. Is it in good condition? It looks good on the outside, but the inside is a different story. It needs a lot of servicing before it can go out on the roads again. What's wrong with it? Well, first of all, it needs a new engine, which is extremely expensive. When's the last time you had it serviced? It must have been a few years ago now. I thought all cars needed regular servicing on a yearly basis. They do. Once my son was born, there was no reason to drive this car anymore. It's only a two-seater, you know. What else is wrong with it? The heating controls don't work anymore, so it always feels like it's about 100 degrees in the car, even in the summer. Anything else? The brakes don't really work that well anymore, either. Why don't you get it all fixed? Costs more than you think to run a car, especially when there are so many things wrong with it. Well, let me know when you get it fixed. I'd love to go for a ride in it. Dialogue 2 Are you ready for your first driving lesson? Yep. Which one is the brake again? The pedal on your left is the brake, and the one on your right is the gas. I'm glad this car is an automatic. I don't like having to change gears. Automatics are very simple to drive. The first thing you should do is put your seatbelt on. You should also put yours on. You never know what will happen with me in the driver's seat. Very funny. Next, you should check your side mirrors and your rear view mirror. Can you see out of them? I can't see anything out of the side mirror on your side of the car. Could you move it forward a bit, please? How's that? That's better. Now what? Check your petrol situation. The tank is almost empty. I guess I'll drive to the petrol station to fill it up. That's a good idea. Put your keys in the ignition, start it up, put the car in reverse, wait for the road to be clear, and then back out of the driveway. I got it. Don't worry. I'll get you there in one piece. Remember, no honking this time. The horn is only for emergency. Why does that cop car behind me have its red lights on? Thirty-eight. Public transportation. Word storm. Subway. Train. Airplane. Cruiser. Double decker bus. Trolley bus. Tram. Commuter. Rated passenger capacity. Hold up. Fare. Single. Annual ticket. Run on time. Delay. Landing. Turbulence. Stop. Tube. Stop over. Terminal. Cabin crew. Flight attendant. Dialogue 1. So, how should we get to the theatre? Let's take the bus. I hate the bus system in London. The bus drivers are rude, the buses are never on time, and there are few people around who can help you. It's not that bad. You probably just had a bad experience once. It wasn't just once. Every single time I take the bus, something bad happens to me or to someone else on the bus. We could take the subway, but we'd have to go three stops along one line and then change trains twice. Train fares are twice as expensive as the bus fare, too. If we don't hurry up, we'll miss the show. Should we take the bus? We're already late, so I think we'd better take a taxi. 
I don't think we'll be able to find a taxi very easily during rush hour. Let's just take the bus. Fine. Have a look at the timetable to find out when the next one arrives. It looks like it should be here in just a few minutes. Don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. I'll even buy your ticket for you. Thanks. That was nice of you. See? Now something good has happened to you on a bus trip. Dialogue 2. Is everything all right? Yep. Everything is fine. What took so long? I thought your flight was supposed to arrive three hours ago. Didn't they announce that our flight was delayed? I didn't hear anything about a delay. I thought everything was running on time. What happened? We boarded the plane on time, but then we were held up for almost an hour due to a maintenance problem. Then what? Your plane was three hours late. We finally took off, but about 30 minutes later, the captain came on to the loudspeaker to warn us that there would be some bad turbulence for most of the flight. Turbulence is pretty normal, isn't it? Yes, but this was the worst turbulence I'd ever experienced in my life. Everyone started getting sick. The flight attendants had to stay in their seats. The captain decided to land early. So where did you land? We landed in Southampton and waited an hour for the storms to pass and then took off again. That sounds like a nightmare. It wasn't too bad. At least I'm alive. Have you had anything to eat? I managed to get a sandwich from a flight attendant. How about you? I had a few coffees while I was waiting. Let's get out of here. Thirty-nine. Asking for directions. Word storm. Turn left. Turn right. Go straight on. Turn around. Keep going. Lose one's way. Roundabout. Entry. Junction. Crossroads. Traffic lights. One-way street. Side road. Pedestrian. Up-to-date map. Sign and announcement. Motorway. Dialogue 1. Hi, Austin. I'm just calling to see if you're okay. I'm fine, but I seem to be a bit lost. Okay, where are you right now? I have no idea. I don't see any road signs. Do you see anything around you, like a hotel or a restaurant? There's a bar called Q Bar in front of me. I know where that is. You must be on Queen Street. So have I passed the street you live on yet? Unfortunately, you must have passed it a while ago. I've really got no sense of direction, do I? Don't worry. I can tell you how to get here. Do you have an up-to-date map in your car? Yes, I'm looking at one now. Do you see Queen Street? Yes, you can't miss it. I've marked it with my pen. Good. You need to go back the way you came. Follow it east for about five miles. You'll get to a roundabout. Take the first right, then you'll be on St. James Street. Follow that for 3.5 miles. Take a right at the second set of traffic lights, and then park your car. My house is the third house on the right. I think I've got it, but I might have to call you again when I get to your street. No problem. Drive safely. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, but I'm not from around here. Can you tell me how to get to the British Museum, please? I'm sorry. I'm from out of town myself. Oh. Have you been to Big Ben yet? Yes, we went there yesterday. Would it be possible for you to tell me how to get there? That's easy. It's along that road on your right. You can't miss it. There are signs all over the city for Big Ben. Thanks. That's helpful. Do you know where else you should go? The Tate Modern is a great museum. And many of the exhibits are free. I wanted to go there this afternoon. 
Is it far to walk there from Big Ben? No, you could easily walk there. It's just along the river. Which side of the river is it on? If you're in front of Big Ben facing the river, it'll be on your right. How far is it? Just follow the walking path along the river for about a mile and you'll see it. I'm going there myself, actually. Let me lead you to Big Ben. Thanks a lot. Once you get to Big Ben, you can always ask one of the guards there for directions. They should be able to help you. Forty. Try cooking. Word storm. Fry. Deep fry. Stir fry. Boil for minutes. Steam. Stir in a bowl. Mix in a bowl. Add ingredient. Braised with soy sauce. Shallow fried. Stewed. Simmered. Grilled. Broiled. Roasted. Cuisine. Steamed rice. Wash vegetable. Chop vegetable. Baked. Smoked. Carved. Ground. Minced. Mashed. Dried. Iced. Frozen. Raw. Stale. Dialogue 1. Do you have any plans for dinner tonight? No, I was thinking of putting a frozen pizza in the oven or something. How about you? I was thinking maybe we could make dinner together tonight. What do you think? I'm absolutely useless at cooking. I could teach you how to cook something healthy. Frozen pizzas are so bad for you. I know they aren't good for you, but they are cheap, convenient, and fairly tasty. I recently saw a recipe for spicy chicken curry in a magazine. Maybe we could try that. Yeah, why not? Do you have all the ingredients? I bought all the ingredients this morning, so let's start. What do we do first? First, you need to wash the vegetables and then chop them into little pieces. Okay. Should I heat the wok? Yes. Once it gets hot, put a little oil in it, add the vegetables, and stir-fry them for a few minutes. What about the chicken? That needs to be cut into thin strips about 3 centimeters long, and then it can be stir-fried on its own until it's cooked through. How about the rice? I'll prepare that. Do you prefer white rice or brown rice? White rice, please. None of that healthy brown stuff for me. Dialogue 2 Do you like cooking, Julia? I really enjoy it, especially when it ends up tasting good. How often do you usually cook? I usually make a few salads for lunch throughout the week, and I make dinner about six times a week. That's a lot of cooking. You must save a lot of money by eating at home so much. I do. If you cook at home, you can eat healthy food cheaply. What kind of dishes do you usually make? I almost always make either a beef roast or a chicken roast with asparagus, parsnips, peas, carrots and potatoes on Sundays. Do you make a lot of traditional British food? Aside from the Sunday roast, we usually eat bangers and mash, toad in a hole or fish and chips once a week. How about spicy food? My family loves spicy food. We often eat Chinese, Thai, Indian or Mexican food when we're in the mood for spice. What's your favorite dish to make? I absolutely love making moussaka, which is a Greek dish with eggplant, but it takes a lot of time, so I don't often make it. Five. 
41. Special sauces and herbs. Word storm. Basil. Chive. Cinnamon. Cumin. Laurel. Bay leaf. Mint. Mustard. Caviar. Rosemary. Ketchup. Vanilla. Wormwood. Absinthe. Brown sugar. Rock sugar. Soy sauce. Vinegar. Sesame. Oyster sauce. Pepper. Red chili powder. Salt black bean. Star anise. Gravy. Dialogue one. How's the soup coming along? I don't think it's ready yet. It needs to thicken a bit more. What seasonings did you put in it? I put some basil, rosemary, thyme, salt, pepper, and a few bay leaves. So it's not going to be spicy then, right? No, it will be flavorful though. What's your favorite flavor? I have quite a sweet tooth, but I like to have a balance of flavors at every meal. When it comes to cooking, using the right seasonings is more important than the way you cook. That's true. Spices can make or break a meal. What do you think about most English food? Personally, I don't think the English really know how to use seasonings or spices. Everything seems a bit tasteless. When it comes to traditional English food, I think you're right. It tends to be quite bland, with just salt and pepper to give it flavor. I've finished cutting the vegetables for the salad. Which dressing do you prefer? Oil and vinegar, Italian dressing, or French dressing? Why don't you just mix some oil and vinegar together with some garlic and a little sugar, and sprinkle it with some salt and pepper? Okay. Tonight's dinner will be nice and healthy, but filling at the same time. Dialogue two. Would you like a cup of mint tea? That would be nice. Thanks. Could I have a lemon in it as well? Sure. Do you need any help in the kitchen? I could use a little help with the sauce. Do you mind? Not at all. What do you need me to do? Well, after you wash your hands, you could add the mustard to the milk in the saucepan. Do I need to stir it? Yes. Milk should always be stirred when it's being heated. If it's not, it could burn or congeal. How long should I stir the milk and the mustard? Just bring it to a simmer. Do I need to add any other seasoning to it? You could sprinkle it with some pepper and salt if you want. What should I do when it starts simmering? You can add some soy sauce, vinegar, red chili powder, and some sesame seeds. What are we going to eat this sauce with? It's going to go over some noodles. I'll just grate a bit of cheese on it too. If you think it'll taste good, go ahead. Forty-two. Chinese food. Word storm. Cantonese cuisine. Chafing dish. Hot pot. Porridge. Boiled dumpling. Preserved bean curd. Bird's nest. Roast suckling pig. Pig's knuckle. Pig's feet. Barbecued pork. Set meal. Crispy rice. Plain noodle. Casserole. Meat bun. Bean curd. Fermented black bean. Preserved egg. Salted duck egg. Dressing with starchy sauce. Wonton soup. Sweet and sour pork. Kung Pao chicken. 
Seaweed soup. Noodles with sweet bean sauce. Dialogue 1. Are you good at cooking? No, but I'm pretty good at eating. Do you prefer Chinese food or Western food? Well, to be honest with you, Chinese food is really different from Western food. Are you used to the food here? I'm not really used to it yet. What's your favorite Chinese dish? Like most foreigners, I really like sweet and sour pork and kung pao chicken. I eat them almost every day. Have you tried traditional Chinese dumplings yet? I tried once, but they are quite difficult to eat with chopsticks. You know, foreigners are not expected to use chopsticks proficiently. If you do, you'll give your Chinese friends quite an impression. It's good to know. I'd like to try more Chinese food, but since I can't read any of the menus in the restaurants near my home, it's difficult to try new food. If you want, I can introduce you to some typical Chinese dishes. That would be great. I really only want to taste real Chinese food, not just the food that the foreigners like to eat. If you haven't tried Beijing duck yet, I'd like to treat you to a meal at a famous duck restaurant near Tianmen. It would be a pity if you left without tasting it. Dialogue 2 Morgan, can I ask you a question? Sure. What is it? I was just wondering if many Chinese people take their leftover food home from a restaurant. In most cities in China, doggy bags are quite uncommon. What happens to all the leftover food? It usually goes to the dump. It seems like an awful waste. Why don't people order fewer dishes so they don't have to throw so much food away at the end of the meal? Ordering a lot of food at restaurants is just a tradition in China. You know, in the past, people could not afford to eat out like they can today. I guess that makes sense. I just think it would make more sense to take the leftovers home. Well, if you want, you can take the leftovers home. No, that's okay. You know what they say, when in Rome. I was impressed that you tried the pig's feet. I heard that many foreigners don't like to eat them. Many people in my generation don't eat pig's feet, but my parents grew up eating them, so I think they're okay. Did you like them? You could take the last one home with you. That's okay. I'll try anything once, but sometimes once is enough. Forty-three. Drinks. Word storm. Alcohol. Barley. Champagne. Cider. Fizzy. Sparkling. Flat. Hangover. Lemonade. Malt. Pour. Soda. House wine. Gin. Pint. Cocktail. Caffeine. Remove tiredness. Inspire the spirit. Brew coffee. Ground coffee. Extraction. Jasmine tea. Dialogue 1. I'm so tired. I don't know how I'm going to make it through this lecture. The professor is a bit boring today. You need something to perk yourself up. How about a coffee? I don't really like coffee, to be honest. It's too bitter for me. Well, you need something to wake you up. How about a soda? Most soft drinks have too much sugar in them. The diet sodas don't have any sugar in them. Which one would you like? I like Diet Sprite. Does that have any caffeine in it? Unfortunately, it doesn't. How about some Diet Coke? I don't care for Coke. I heard that Coke was first used as medicine, and I don't like medicine. What else has caffeine? Maybe you should try a cappuccino or a latte. They taste much better than plain brewed coffee. Mm, maybe. 
How about a mochaccino? Are they any good? You'll love that. It's just a shot of espresso beans mixed with steamed milk and some chocolate syrup. Mmm, that's perfect. Would you like one too? My treat. Thanks, but I'll stick with some jasmine tea. I'm trying to watch my diet. Dialogue two. Come on, have a drink with us. Well, okay. I guess it is happy hour. What are you guys drinking? I'm having a whiskey coke. Gavin is having a Long Island iced tea, and Olivia is having an Irish coffee. That's quite a mix. Can I see the wine list? Don't you like to drink cocktails? I can't drink vodka because it goes straight to my head. How about whiskey? Whiskey doesn't sit with me too well either. Trust me, red wine is the best choice for me. How many glasses of red wine do you need to drink to get drunk? I don't know. I haven't been drunk in a long time. You're such a sensible drinker. How many cocktails does it take you to get drunk? I don't know. I'm so drunk already that I've forgotten how many I've had. You're probably going to have a big hangover tomorrow, aren't you? Probably, but I know how to cure a hangover, so it's okay. How do you do that? I just need to take an aspirin with a glass of water tonight, go to sleep, wake up, have a few cups of coffee, and then I'm sorted. How are you getting home tonight? I'll call a cab. I never drink alcohol if I have to drive. That's the most sensible thing you've said so far. Maybe we're a lot more like each other than I'd thought. Forty-four. Local snacks. Word storm. Gado gado. Sushi. Musaka. Tiramisu. Fried breadstick. Steak and kidney pie. Curry. Spaghetti. Burrito. Borscht. Fondue. Kimchi. Kebab. Seafood paella. Tart. Fajita. Nachos. Sidewalk snack booth. Food stall. Dialogue one. I'm hungry. Let's go to the snack bar. Okay. What unusual food do you want to try? I'm going to try gado gado. What's that? It's a kind of rice ball that is made in Malaysia. What about you? I don't know. I don't know what most of this food is. Do you want noodles, vegetables, rice, meat, seafood, beans, or dessert? I'd like to have some vegetables first. Have you ever tried tempura? No. What is it? It's deep-fried vegetables, which is commonly eaten in Japan. What do you use to eat it? Most people eat tempura with chopsticks, but you can use a fork if you don't know how to use chopsticks. That sounds good. Do you know if there are any vegetable dishes that are spicy? Let me think. You could get a vegetable Indian or Thai curry, or you could get some kimchi. I'll try all of those. How do you know so much about international food? I used to buy lunch every day from the international food stall at school. Every day was an adventure. Dialogue two. It's time for desserts. Are you still hungry? I've always got room for something sweet. What are you going to try first? I've never tried traditional Greek yogurt, so I want to try that first. Do they serve the yogurt with anything? I believe they add locally produced honey to it. That sounds good. I am going to start with an Italian tiramisu. Do you want to try some of my yogurt? It's a favorite everyday dessert in Greece. Okay. Hmm. What do you think? How does it taste? It's nice, but it's rather plain. 
Do you want to try my tiramisu? Sure. I'll just have a bite. What do you think? Does it taste good? Oh, it's absolutely delicious. That is the best tiramisu I've ever had. I'm glad you like it. I don't care for it. Why don't you finish my tiramisu so that I can try one of those fried bananas? Okay. I've had one of those before. They're really sweet and crunchy. Do you know where they are from? I believe they're a local delicacy in the South. Do you want me to get you one too? <sighs> yeah, why not? We've already pigged out as it is. Okay, I'll be back with two fried bananas in a few minutes. Wait for me here. Forty-five. How about a game? Word storm. PSP. Role-playing game. Chess. Checkers. Checkerboard. Yo-yo. Rubik's cube. Mahjong. Play darts. Player. Riddle. Domino. Guessing game. Crossword puzzle. Charades. Blind man's bluff. Hunt the thimble. Puss in the corner. Tetris. Cheat. Hint. Forfeit. Storyline. Walk through. Solitaire. Dialogue one. Do you like playing games? I like playing computer games, but I'm not really into board games. How about individual games like the Rubik's cube or Solitaire? The Rubik's cube is so difficult to solve that I think it should be banned. If I taught you how to do it, I'm sure you could solve it. How do you figure out how to solve the Rubik's cube? I didn't really have to figure it out. I just followed the instructions. I had no idea there were a set of instructions. I thought everyone who could solve it were all geniuses. Hints are really important when you're solving puzzles. If you give me some hints about playing that PS2 game, I'll show you how to solve the Rubik's cube. It's a deal. Do you remember years ago when everyone at the New Year's party had yo-yos? Yeah, that was a strange party. Can you still do any of those yo-yo tricks? I don't know. I haven't tried to yo-yo since that party. I can never figure out how to use my yo-yo. If you don't start when you're young, it's hard to get the hang of it. Let's get started with this game then. Okay. Dialogue two. What are you doing? I'm just trying to complete today's crossword puzzle. Whenever I get the time, I like to do the crossword puzzles in the paper. You really like brains that make you think, don't you? I guess you could say that. What kind of games do you like? I guess the games I like most are the ones that I'm good at. Doesn't everyone? Which games are those? Well, I like to play darts. Whenever I go to a bar, I usually play for a few hours. Did you play a lot of games when you were little? My parents used to love to play checkers and dominoes. We used to have family tournaments every weekend. Do you still like playing those games? Not at all. I never really did, to be honest. What about you? Did your family used to play games together? Everyone in my family really enjoys playing card games. Some of my friends play cards on the internet. Have you ever tried that? No. I prefer to play with people I know. How about mahjong? It's a popular game with some people, but I've never played it. I thought everyone in your country were experts at mahjong. I hate to disappoint you, but unlike what most people think, we aren't all exactly the same.
46. Pets will never leave you. Word storm. Stinky. Betray. Faithful companion. Forsake. Good friend. In a bad mood. Life saving. Loyalty. Blind dog. Sled pulling. Adopt. To be trained. Let you down. Purr. Trim its nails. Veterinarian. Watchdog. Affectionate. Aloof. Become gloomy. Preventative inoculation. Talk back. Domestic. Vent one spleen on. Dialogue 1. Do you like animals? Yes, doesn't everyone? What's your favorite animal? It's hard to say. While dogs are affectionate, cats are much easier to take care of. Have you ever had a dog? When I was little, we had a few domestic dogs at home. They always say that dogs are a man's best friend. Do you think that's true? Definitely. Rich or poor, dogs always love their masters. How about cats? Have you ever had one for a pet? I had one a few months ago, but she ended up running away. Oh, how did that happen? She left through a window that was open one night and never returned. You must have been devastated. I was pretty sad. I still hope that she'll return some day. I hope she does. Do you think you'll ever get another pet? I think I will. It's difficult to feel lonely when you have a pet around. I hope your cat finds its way back home. I do too. Dialogue 2 Is that your rabbit? Yes, I just adopted her from the Humane Society this weekend. That's good of you. Why did you decide to get a rabbit? Well, I wanted to get a pet that wouldn't disturb the neighbors. At the same time, I wanted a pet that would be affectionate. Rabbits aren't usually that affectionate, are they? If you cuddle them a lot when they're very young, they can be just as affectionate as dogs or cats. I didn't know that. Are rabbits difficult to take care of? Not really. I went to the veterinarian to get her vaccinated, and she told me that all I needed to do was to make sure that to trim its nails from time to time, give her food and water, and to clean its cage. That sounds pretty easy. Do rabbits make your house smell? No, rabbits aren't very stinky. As long as you clean the cage on a regular basis, it's not too bad. Can you train a rabbit to do things? You can't train them like you can train dogs. But you can train them to do some things. For example, you can train them to go to the bathroom in a special rabbit toilet. That's amazing. Has she bitten you yet? Not yet. She's pretty tame. I think she must be used to being around lots of different people. Forty-seven. Watching the Olympics. Word storm. Trial. Anthem. Torch. Olympic delegation. Olympic village. Organization committee. Opening ceremony. Closing ceremony. Bidding cities. Candidate cities. Host city. Mascot. Podium. Motto. Emblem. Aquatics. Archery. Athletics. Ball games. Equestrian. Fencing. Gymnastics. 
sailing, shooting, weightlifting, wrestling, rowing, boxing, personal best. Dialogue one. Do you usually watch the Olympics on TV? If I have the opportunity to, I do. When will the next Olympics take place? It takes place every four years, so the next one is two years from now. I can't wait until our city will host the Olympics games. It will be so exciting. Do you think the opening ceremony will be a success? Our country has been waiting for years to host the Olympics, so I think it will be fantastic. Do you think we'll get any gold medals? I'm sure we will. I think we'll get gold medals in gymnastics, diving, and shooting. What do you think? We might also get one in rowing. Don't you think? Maybe. I think everyone here wants our athletes to win as many gold medals as possible. I think most people hope to see at least one person from their country win. That's true. Do you know what the motto is of the next game? I think it's something like "New Beijing, Great Olympics." Do you think we'll be able to get tickets for the games? My dad told me that he'll be able to get some through his company. I can get you a few tickets if you want.、Oh, thanks. You're a great friend. Don't mention it. That's what friends are for. Dialogue two. Do you know what happens at the opening ceremony for the Olympics? I think that's when some of the athletes bring the torch in for everyone to watch its flames. Why do they do that? The Olympic flame is a symbol that's reminiscent of the ancient Olympic Games. Do the Winter and the Summer Olympics take place in the same year? No. The Olympic Games consist of the Games of the Olympiad, which takes place in the summer of one year, and the Olympic Winter Games, which takes place in the winter two years later. Do they both take place every four years? Yes, I wish they took place more often. Though I really love watching all the different athletes from around the world. Do you know which cities are the candidate cities for the next Olympic Games? I think it's Paris, Frankfurt, New York, and Stockholm. Who do you think will win? I think Paris might because they've been a candidate city for the last two or three games. If you were able to get the tickets to see a game in Paris, would you go? Of course, I would. I would do anything to go and see the Olympics in any country. Forty-eight. Track and field events. Word storm. Race. Middle distance race. Long distance runner. Sprint. Four hundred meter hurdles. Marathon. Decathlon. Cross country race. High jump. Long jump. Triple jump. Pole vault, throwing, shot put, discus throw, hammer, javelin, win a title, cross the finish line, take part in, judo, walk, relay, athletics, steeplechase. Dialogue one. What happened? Why didn't he win? Didn't you hear? He was disqualified. How did that happen? He's so talented. I thought he had a great chance of winning a gold medal. If he didn't have any drug problems, he would have won. What? What kind of drugs was he using? He was taking steroids to make him stronger and faster. I thought that all athletes were supposed to be regularly tested for drugs. They are. The only reason they didn't disqualify him until after the race 
is because the results from the test came back afterwards. That's so disappointing. I don't know why top athletes would feel the need to take drugs. I don't think it's right, but I can understand why they might. Imagine how much pressure there would be to win for your country. Regardless of how much pressure you're under, there's never a good reason to take drugs. I agree. Hopefully, with the new regulations, fewer athletes will try to cheat with drugs. Let's hope so. Dialogue 2 How's she doing? She's in good form. How many laps does she have to go? There are just three laps to go, but she's holding a safe lead, so she's got a good chance of winning. Did you ever win any competitions when you were on your university swim team? I won a few. I was quite good at the 400-meter butterfly. What about you? Did you ever compete in high school or university? I was a long-distance runner. I enjoyed it, but I wasn't very good at it. It's not all about winning, is it? Depends on who you ask. Oh, look. It looks like she's really pushing herself in the final lap. Is she going to make it? She's dropping back. Oh, no. The Australian woman passed her. How did that happen? I don't know. Do you think she could still win? There's no way. I don't know if she can even finish in the top three now. What a disappointment. She had so much promise. There must be something wrong with her. She's swimming strangely. That's true. She doesn't look very comfortable. That's it. The Australian got first, the German got second, and she got third. At least she's passed the trials. I can't wait to hear about what happened to her. I'm sure it will be interesting. Forty-nine. Ball sports. Word storm. Spectator. Football. Rugby. Basketball. Volleyball. Tennis. Baseball. Handball. Hockey, golf, cricket, ice hockey, goalkeeper, center kick, goal kick, throw in, line out, to score a goal, batsman, batter, singles, mixed doubles, to convert a try. Dialogue 1 What did you do last night? I just stayed home and watched TV. Did you watch the Barcelona vs Madrid game? Yes, it was a very evenly matched game. What were the results of the game? It ended in a tie. What was the actual score? It was 3 all. Really? I thought Barcelona was going to win. They're a much better team than Madrid. If Barcelona had played as they normally do, they should have won. What happened? Their goalkeeper got injured after the first goal, but he kept on playing anyway. That explains it. How many more games are left this season? That was the last game before the playoffs. When do the playoffs start? In a few weeks. Are you planning on watching them? Of course. I really love watching football games on TV. Me too. Do you want to come over and watch the next game at my place? I'm planning on having a few people over to watch it together. Sure. That would be great. Okay. It's a date then. Dialogue 2 So, which sport do you prefer? Basketball or baseball? To be honest, I don't really care for either one. I thought everyone liked basketball. Why don't you like it? I used to play basketball when I was little, and I never scored a goal. 
Every time I watched a basketball game, I think about how horrible I was at it. That makes sense. How about you? What's your favorite sport of all time? My absolute favorite is ice hockey. Have you ever seen a live game? Sure, many times. It's an exciting game for spectators to watch. I've never really understood the game. It's not that difficult. If you want to watch a game with me, I can explain the rules and the tactics while we're watching. Thanks. That'd be nice. When's the next ice hockey game on? Not for a while, but we could watch an old one on the internet so I can explain the game to you. That's a good idea. Let's watch the Canadian team. They have a good manager and a great coach. Okay. Fifty. Extreme sports. Word storm. X game. Bungee jumping. Skydiving. Surfing. Cliff diving. Skateboarding. Inline. Rock climbing. Street luge. Hang gliding. Stunt flying. Extreme biking. Scuba diving. Participate in. Formula One. Parasailing. Do as a hobby. Dialogue one. Have you seen the video about the skydiver who free fell from five thousand feet? No. What happened? His parachute wouldn't open. Was he an experienced skydiver? Yes. He and his buddies were certified skydiving instructors from New Zealand. Did he survive the fall? Amazingly enough, he did. The mulberry tree he landed in saved his life. Did he have any injuries? He only had a broken ankle and a punctured lung. He was really lucky. I don't think I'd ever go skydiving. Would you? I think extreme sports like skydiving are too risky for me. There are a few extreme sports that I enjoy. Really? Like what? Well, I do rock climbing as a hobby, and I also do a bit of cliff diving from time to time. Rock climbing is something I've often thought about doing, but I always end up chickening out. Why is that? I'm incredibly scared of heights. That explains why you don't like extreme sports, then. Dialogue two. What are you doing this weekend? I don't have any plans yet. Do you? Yes, I'm going to go bungee jumping on Saturday. Ah,、oh, can I come and watch? Sure. You should do a jump yourself. Are you kidding? Believe it or not, that is the last thing I'd ever want to do. People do it all the time. You won't get hurt. Don't you think it's just a little bit dangerous? The people who run the company have lots of safety procedures. That's not the point. I don't like doing risky things. Okay, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Good. I'll come and watch though. It'll be good to have some company. Will they teach you how to use any safety equipment before you jump? They'll explain what to do and what to expect, but there isn't much you can do if the cord breaks. So it is really dangerous then. Don't worry, I'll be fine. You're absolutely crazy. I can't believe you're going to do it. You should try it. If you face your fears, you'll be able to do anything. <laughs> Trust me, extreme sports are not for me. Thank、you